us live okay. on Dr air. Drew. It is senior night at Husky Stadium in DeKalb, Illinois. Northern Illinois has already locked up a MAC West championship, and now the Huskies look to finish the regular season with a bang against Western Michigan. NIU was winless last year. They're now 6-1 and one in conference play. All seven of those MAC games decided by one single score. NIU has been magical so far this season. As for Western Michigan, looking to finish the season on a strong note. Alongside Charles Arbuckle, I'm Drew Carter. As we get you set for Western Michigan at Northern Illinois, Buck, it's Maction. It's Thanksgiving week. This is a little appetizer for Thanksgiving Thursday. Should be a tasty matchup tonight. Yeah, whatever food you like or whatever you want, you're going to get it here, Drew. I mean, I think it's an excellent opportunity for both of these ball clubs to be in position to make some plays. And Northern Illinois is showing senior night. All those They don't have a whole lot of seniors, but they have enough guys that have made plays. Only seven seniors on this Huskies roster, led by the head coach, Thomas Hammock, one of the best players in NIU history. He was a running back for the Huskies back in the early 2000s, spent some time with the University of Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Baltimore Ravens. Now he is back home in DeKalb, and he has orchestrated a phenomenal turnaround for NIU, the biggest in FBS this year, plus eight wins with a chance to make it plus nine tonight. Coach Lester, also one of the best players in his program's history. These are two guys coaching at their alma maters, two of 17 in college football. Lester grew up in Wheaton, Illinois, which is between here and DeKalb and Chicago. Five seasons at WMU. Lester has had a winning record, or 500, in all of them. Broncos looking to seal bowl eligibility. Huskies looking to finish 9-3 and three in the 2021 regular season. Well, Drew, I got to see both of these players, guys as players, before they became coaches. So it's always interesting when you can come back and watch games and see guys in a different element. Really interesting to watch. And the win is going to be a factor. Windy night in DeKalb. Temperatures in the mid-30s. This is late November. Maction personified. Stadium is north-south. Wind is moving south. And, Buck, it was interesting. Some of the coaching staffs told us that that might change how they call plays tonight. Yeah, it'll, it'll become a factor. We already see it right away. Lots of win. NIU is going to start with the football, and they'll start near their own 30-yard line. And this is going to be the biggest surprise of the night. If you haven't heard, folks, Rocky Lombardi, the guy who's become a national star for the Huskies, is out tonight. He was injured in early November at Kent State, played in the last two against Ball State and Buffalo. So the guy stepping in is Ethan Hampton from about half an hour down the road in Elburn, Illinois. When he throws his first pass tonight, Buck, it'll be his first pass in a competitive game since his junior year of high school. Drew, I am sure he's excited. He's practiced well. They say he's ready to play and he can spin it. They start with the RPO, and this is NIU's Brennan Butter. There goes Jay Ducker. The Huskies, the best run game in the MAC, and they start with a huge pop on the first play from scrimmage. They run the football effectively. They run downhill, and you have to be prepared. Look at that inside blocking, interior blocking. Guys coming off the ball, but a very good run by Ducker. Huge, huge run down the field. 49 yards on the first play for Jay Ducker, a guy with a really interesting story this year. We'll get into it later if NIU gives us a chance. <laughs> they fake the give. Here comes Hampton's first pass in college, and he throws it away like a savvy vet. Gets rid of the, gets rid of the football, Drew, has that pressure coming after him. And I think that's, you know, that's the real key that's going to happen here. He's got to get comfortable, but the very first play gets you comfortable when your running back takes off and has a huge run. Yeah, Ethan Hampton, the true freshman from Elburn, Illinois, 6'3", 194. The coaching staff really likes him, hasn't gotten a chance to play because every game has been close. Nine of their 11 decided by one score, and Rocky Lombardi has been a star for NIU. But his understudy gets a chance tonight in the regular season finale. 
They keep it on the ground. This time it's Mason Blakemore on the carry for NIU. Hey, Drew, what about talking to Lou Esposito, the, the defensive coordinator and DN coach for, for Weston? How many different formations and all the different things that they're going to throw at this uh, ball club? He said, we have so much to prepare for. We got to be ready because they bring it and they just come downhill on you. Sometimes they'll go with six, seven, eight offensive linemen. This is old school <laughs> football for the Huskies. Yeah, you talk about super jumbo packages that they bring at you. First third down for Hampton, puts it on the deck, ball loose, Western Michigan falls on it. And Western has been a negative turnover team. They haven't been able to get takeaways as much as they would like and also turn it over. That's a huge mistake by the young rookie, a young freshman, trying to reach out to the ball and doesn't really look it all the way in. Ryan Selig on the recovery for Western Michigan. Early turnover for the true freshman. Yeah, look at the snap. Braden Patton gets it back to him. He's so anxious to get the ball. Ball slips away from him. But great job by the defense of getting after it. Zaire Barnes was one of the first ones there. And then all the other uh, guys got there and helped as well. And you see number 12, Rocky Lombardi. Some people call him Sunshine because of that long blonde hair working as a mentor tonight for Ethan Hampton. And now we get our first look at the quarterback on the other side, Caleb Ellaby, leading the Mac in pass yards this year. He wants it all on the first play from scrimmage, a little too far for his top wideout, Sky Moore. Yeah, we'll call Sky Moore's name a lot. And Ellaby, when you watch him on tape, man, rhythm passer, some of the things that Tim Lester talked about having and wanting to have out of a guy that can really play the quarterback position. Well, the defensive coordinator, Derek Jackson, say we got to go everywhere with him. Even if he goes, I'd said if you go kiss his girlfriend, I wouldn't want that DB to smell her perfume and tell you what it was when she got when he got back. If, if that's what you're going to do. <laughs> if Sky Moore goes out to check his car, now I'm the parking attendant. Cha-ching. WMU goes to the ground now with Sean Tyler solid run on second down. Yeah, good run. You're going to see a lot of this 4-2-5 defense for Northern Illinois. They, they play with multiple guys. They'll have guys coming up. A lot of young players, but a lot of players that have made some plays. C.J. Brown in particular, one we'll call a lot. Brown's their leading tackler with 80 this season. Western Michigan's first third down attempt. And you can see them starting, and then they'll scan. They'll look over. LB will come back up, and then that'll set them and reset the defense as well. LB looking left, complete. It's Sky Moore, and Moore, after the catch, picks up the first down, finally twisted down by Jordan Hansen. This is what he does. LB gets it out, and then Sky Moore will make a move, and those yards after catch, you have to limit. That was the one thing that Derek Jackson just kept saying. you got to limit his ability to make yards after catch. Or leads the Mac in receptions. That was his 80th of the season, also above 1,000 yards this year. He scan again, and it puts you in a position. They're going to move more all over, so you can't just say he's going to be in one spot as well. Matched up with the true freshman, Javon Bird, bottom of your screen. Ellaby throws right side. That's complete. Back-to-back -back completions for Ellaby. It's Jalen Hall, the redshirt junior out of Maka, Michigan, who moves the sticks. 16-yard game. And Drew, this is what we talked about with Lester, right? He was saying, I have to have a guy that's rhythmic, gets the ball out. He said, I don't, the arm strength thing we can work on, but he has to be able to come out. He has a matrix. You know, he's a math guy, so he was giving us all the, the algebraic equations of what he thought a quarterback should be. But if you watch this young man on tape, he has really played well, but then there's stretches of times where he puts the ball on the ground. That's what he has to guard against. This time they run the sweep and the pitch to Sky Moore, who's dangerous with the ball in his hands. It'll set up second down and short. Now, like you said, Buck, Lester really likes Ellaby's command of this offense, but he also says this is the guy with the most arm talent of anyone I've ever coached. Yeah, he said it, he can do it all. And, and when you watch him consistently getting the ball out, boom, 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 three-step drop, five-step drop, even on rollouts. But he has fumbled the ball at times, and it's hurt them. And that's the one thing he has to clean up and be consistent with tonight and the rest, definitely uh, the rest of his career. Ellaby takes a seat, and they keep it on the ground with Ladarius Jefferson. And that's going to be close to a first down. 
Yeah, they'll show is. you the, they'll show you this, and they'll do a, a few different things. But Ladarius Jack Jefferson and Sean Tyler are their key guys. But you also see some Jackson Kincaid as well. That will be back out there running that scan offense. This is Tyler around the left side, their speediest back. And again, it's going to be second down and short for Western Michigan, a team that averaged above 40 points per game last year. Offense hasn't quite kicked it into high gear this season, just under 30 per game, which is in the middle of the MAC, but they look good so far. Yeah, and you'll see that defense from Northern Illinois. This is usually where they kind of uh, start coming with some pressure, but this offense has gotten them off balance on this first drive. to Tyler big hole inside the 20 Sean Tyler sets the Broncos up at the five two real key blocks on the outside that spring this run just really good blocking by this offensive line getting on guys and allowing Tyler a chance to just cut in there and make a play yeah, he, he's shifty like you said and the one thing is he can hide behind those backs and then all I mean those linemen and all of a sudden he comes out on the other side it's hard to see him back there and that quick hitting play right in the middle is one of the things that the Huskies struggled against last week against Buffalo even though they won the game Tyler's 5'8 185 the coaching staff told us earlier this year they wanted to be 2 1 1 with him Jefferson and Kincaid it's Jefferson out there right now good tackle near the line of scrimmage for Northern Illinois and the DN Ray Thomas yeah they, they talk about Ray Thomas is showing up and plays hard you'll see that with Michael Kennedy also number five some real aggressive guys they've got a good interior defensive line but they were pushed around a little bit by Buffalo and then started playing well in that second half. Ended up winning that game late. Another close win for Northern Illinois. 7-1 <laughs> score wins this year. They're 6-1 and one in the MAC. All seven have been decided by just one score. On the pitch. Daylight Tyler twisted down again NIU makes a solid tackle. That's the senior on senior night Lance DeVoe Yeah, Lance DeVoe did a really nice job of not going for that fake By Ellaby and then just stayed out there and you can see he had a few other guys with them Really nice play and good hustle. He knew he was the last line of defense and was able to get out there quickly And that was a key play for was causing a third down In the jumbo set, Ellaby rolls, throws, touchdown! Brett Borski back in a big way for Western Michigan. Broncos strike first. Yeah. Borski was out a little bit this season. He's come back the last few weeks. They have connected well. You know I love tight ends, right? Well, he's a tight end <laughs> sneaking out there on the outside from Naperville, Illinois for a touchdown. Playing close to home here in DeKalb. He said he's going to have a lot of family here at Husky Stadium, and they see him score the first points of the game. Nick Mahalik's extra point is good. Western Michigan on the road, up 7-zip. Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. A hot, buttery treasure loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and sausage or bacon. And to top it off right now, they're just a buck. A buck? Now there's no reason to go somewhere else. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Welcome to that magic realm. Between here and there. A no man's land. And everyone's land. Where great expectations grow and rewards are given to the swift, the perceptive, and the daring. The Mazda CX-30 Turbo with all-wheel drive. More power for your pursuit. We're here for the heavy flowers and the wedgie pickers with a pad made like no other. Up to zero leaks because it locks blood in. Up to zero bunching because it flexes. No worries, just always flex foam. Hi folks, Medicare open enrollment is simple. 
One, call the number on your screen. Two, the agent will look up your zip code to see if you're able to eliminate co-pays and get Part C benefits like prescriptions and expanded coverage for your dental work at no extra cost. Three, they'll check if you're eligible to get money added to your Social Security check up to $1,700 a year. Call to check your zip code. I call to check my zip code. I call to eliminate co-pays. I call to get everything I deserve. I call to get money added to my Social Security check. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can, too. Call the 800 number on your screen to check your zip code. Don't miss the deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-222-7889. That's 1-800-222-7889 now. The hot spots and pressure points on your mattress could be why you were tossing and turning last night, leaving you tired with aches and pains. But don't buy a new mattress. Upgrade it with the premium mattress topper by Dormeo. It transforms your mattress into a luxurious sleeping surface. It's the only topper in the world with patented OctaSpring technology, providing incredible pressure point relief and advanced breathability, so you don't wake up hot. Head to Dormeo.com now for a special TV offer that's only available at Dormeo.com. That's Dormeo.com. The priorities were basically playing football and trying to be the best I could be. Super Bowl 38. When you start something, you got to finish it. In all these games, it took that much to win. That's the difference between being remembered and not being remembered. Rocky Lombardi, left side of your screen in the heavy jacket. His understudy, Ethan Hampton, getting his first collegiate action tonight. Lombardi got injured a couple weeks ago at Kent State. Toughed it out the past two games against Ball State and Buffalo, but he is not playing tonight. You see his numbers this year, very impressive. Everybody loves the name and the hair, Buck, but he is out on the sideline tonight. Well, I also think he helped this team become better this year. You know, you talk about a guy stepping in a locker room where you have a lot of young players. Hey, what is Rocky going to do? How does Rocky work? Even though he's not playing, he's still a presence. And that's been the key. He's been hurt and still sucking it up. And I think that's the one thing in talking to these staffs, why he has been so effective and why both teams, especially uh, Western, was worried about Rocky tonight. And, Buck, the coaching staff for Northern Illinois told us this week that this is a program built on competition. Great example is the running back, Jay Ducker, who was on the scout team earlier this year and is now their starter. I mean, their compete team, as they call it, gives them a tough practice every single week. Well, you have to have that. And I think that's the one thing young guys don't understand. When you're going to play for a program, if you're going to get on the field, you have to show it every single week. And I think that's the real key when you look at this ball club how they're made Ontario Brown didn't touch the ball for three weeks and he scores a touchdown on his first touch last week they expect you to be ready when you call your numbers call Hampton back to work there's Ducker on the great play fake Hampton keeps they say he can use his legs picks up a nice chunk on first they want him to do this selectively since Rocky's not in because if he goes out, Dustin Fletcher is his backup. Real good ball handling skills there, Drew. He fooled everybody. Our camera guys are doing a great work, right? They're doing a great job, but they were even fooled a little bit on that one. Nine-yard gain on first down for the true freshman, whose only pass attempt so far in college was a throwaway on the opening drive tonight. Back to the ground game, and Ducker, shifty run, picks up the first down and then some. NIU's ground game looks to heat up. Yeah, Thomas Hammock just couldn't stop praising him and what he's been able to do. You saw that move right there. That was a key component. When you're a former running back, having watched Thomas Hammock and Michael Turner, the burner, on this field in particular, the big thing is those guys understood how to play. This young man knows it. He's got the ability to shake you, but he, when he gets in open space, he's going to go try to take it to the house. Now it's Clint Ratkovich in there. They go on the jet sweep with maybe their most dangerous weapon, Trayvon Rudolph. WMU builds a wall, though, and A.J. Thomas pushes him out of bounds behind the line. Yeah, Trayvon Rudolph, you got to know where he is. You have an X on him if you're Western Michigan's defense. And you saw right there, as soon as he touched the ball, one guy, two guys, three guys, Drew, they're not going to let him out of their sight because he is 
really, really fast. Doesn't have a whole lot of catches, but he had four, he has 44 on the year. Had 14 with 309 and three touchdowns versus Kent State. Here's Hampton to throw, tucks it, breaks a tackle, and Ethan Hampton gets back near the original line of scrimmage. And it looks like they're almost trying to tell him, hey, here's where your, your bro is going to be. Western took that one away, and when he didn't see it, he didn't look for the second or third read. He just took off. Part of that is when you talk about the game slowing down, that's what we're going to probably see as this game goes on for the young man who's getting his first collegiate start. Last time they faced third down, Hampton put it on the deck after the snap. This time he fields it cleanly. Hampton throws, tips, nearly caught in spectacular fashion for Northern Illinois, but it falls incomplete. That was Mohamed Torre who almost scooped it off the deck. Yeah, and not a good decision by Hampton. He really forced that throw in this man coverage, and you can see A.J. Thomas right there, the one that was able to almost pick that ball off. But then you, you, you're right, Drew, the ricochet almost came off to Northern Illinois. NIU has thrown 226 straight passes without an interception. That was dangerous. And that was close. <laughs> Here comes Matt <laughs> Ferentz, who's probably the best punter in Northern Illinois history, and you see why. He kicks a pretty spiral. He can spin it off the foot. WMU comes back out after a strong drive to take an early lead when we return. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates, And savings like that make you feel like you won the whole dang thing. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. If you're on supplemental oxygen, tanks make life hard. Well, now there's a better way to get the oxygen your doctor prescribed without a tank. Now you can create your own oxygen with the Inogen One. It's the one solution for home, away, and travel. When I was on tanks, I felt imprisoned. Now that I've got my Inogen One, my life is full again. With this little device, I can now go anywhere I want and do the things that I've always loved. The Inogen One creates all-day oxygen from the air around you. When you have an Inogen One, you can get back to living your life again. I love this, and I love my Inogen because it lets me see this. I could play golf again. I could go grocery shopping again. I could work in the garden again. For a year, I was just nothing without it. I'm free again. Being able to be in my grandchildren's lives, it means the world to me. You're not going to think of me as someone sitting in the house. With the tank, they're going to remember me. I didn't want to be that old sick lady in the mirror. With the Inogen, I can handle my own oxygen. I can carry my own oxygen. I can make my own oxygen. I go anywhere with this. It lets me be normal. Almost a million people have decided to get their normal lives back with the Inogen One family of oxygen systems. You should too. You may even be eligible to receive an Inogen One at little or no additional cost. So give us a call and talk to one of our highly trained oxygen specialists. We'll answer any questions you may have and send you your comprehensive guide to respiratory freedom. If you're on oxygen, you need to be using an Inogen. This Inogen really works. You gotta get off the couch and get one. Wouldn't you rather have this than a tank? Really? Pick up the phone, call the Inogen company, they're gonna take care of you. Call 800-579-5321. That's 800-579-5321. Or visit Inogen.com.
Nothing says Thanksgiving like fighting with people you love. And the Rangers and Bruins, two original six franchises in the NHL, kick back after all that trip to fan has set in from Thursday and watch some good hockey Friday afternoon. Good to have the NHL back here on ESPN. Always great to have some action as well. Alongside Charles Arbuckle, I'm Drew Carter, and Buck Western Michigan's offense looked amazing on that first drive. They really did. They were able to march the ball down the field, Drew, and they just they just took their time. They, and they had some key plays. Let's see if they can do this again. And let's see what Northern Illinois does to stop it this time. Usually they're in a single high safety. You can see them here with two. Somebody's going to come down. See that guy creeping down into the box late. On the screen pass, Caleb Ellaby hooks up with Jalen Hall on first down. And you mentioned it, Buck, this NIU defense is going to be one high, a chance to maybe exploit them deep. Yeah, they like to play a lot of man, but they also know Ellaby is crafty and able to find ways in your defense. So look at Bree, three by one with the nub tight end now on the backside. Let's see what they try to do here. Buck, you're a tight end. What's a nub tight end? Well, he's the only one. He has nobody on the outside of him. That's Brett Borski at the bottom of your screen who caught a touchdown pass to cap off that 11 play 72 yard drive to score the first seven points. Keep it on the ground now with Ladarius Jefferson who swallowed up and might lose a yard on second down. And what they were trying to do is run to that side and have Borski work from the first level to the second level. That was a really nice job by Northern Illinois of getting penetration. That's what you have to do when you have that when they're trying to run into the boundary. Broncos were two for two on third down on that first drive. Go ahead, Buck. Sorry about that, Drew. See, again, they scan and look to see. They clap and then come back up. Tim Lester, the head coach, is an offensive guy. A former WMU quarterback, Eric Evans, calls the plays. With two on the play clock, Ellaby gets it off just in time. Flushed, under pressure, dropped. Devontae O'Malley on the sack for this Huskies team that doesn't generate a lot of heat on the opposing quarterbacks, but they come up with a big play there. Drew, I'm, say, I'm glad you said that. They come with a game, and they get him inside all the way past the guard. That stunt took them off kilter. He had a missed sack last week against Buffalo that would have sealed the game, and it pushed it into overtime. He was upset, but I talked to their coaches, and I said, Derek Jackson, how are they going to get him? He said, man, we're in position. We just got to get home. For O'Malley, it's his third and a half sack of the season. That's now tops on this Huskies defense. And it brings out Nick Mahalik after the three and out for Western Michigan. That's a bomb of a punt that sends Rudolph way back. And Western Michigan snuffs out the dangerous punt returner. Mahalik is a tough guy, as the coaches say. That's a big boot, 53-yard punt. Rangers Bruins on ABC and ESPN Plus, Friday. Stay tuned to get not one, but two pans free from Granite Stone. It's big, it's round, it's the most superior nonstick pan in town. It's the Family Pan by Granite Stone, the extra large, durable, ultra nonstick pan that's so slick, virtually nothing sticks. No oil or butter needed. We cooked a dozen eggs, bacon, cheese, and tomato breakfast, and it just doesn't stick. We made this entire spaghetti and meatball family feast, and it just doesn't stick. This massive amount of mac and cheese scoops out with ease and just doesn't stick. The Family Pan is pressed from a solid aluminum disc for even heat conduction, then coated three times with our durable granite stone ultra nonstick finish. Look, big meals make a big mess, but not with the family pan. It's 100% metal utensil safe, ultra lightweight, and comes with this helper handle to serve up party portions of chili that pour right out and simply wipes clean. Perfectly sear steaks just like the pros or create restaurant style flame and fajitas. The family pan is oven rated to 550 degrees for baking this extra large pan pizza to perfection and it just doesn't stick. And here's a sweet treat. We melted all this candy to create a decorative holiday candy dish and it just doesn't stick. Plus it's PFOA free and 100% dishwasher safe. 
Call or go online to get your family pan by Granite Stone for the special TV discount price of just $39.95. It's so durable it comes with a 10-year warranty. And with every order, you're going to get not one, but two Granite Stone single-serve egg pans. It's the perfect size for personalized eggs, omelets, or frittatas that slide right out. All yours absolutely free. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. You get it all. The family pan, the warranty, two single-serve egg pans, and free shipping. That's the best offer ever from Granite Stone. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-209-9314 or order online at buyfamilypan.com. This is Discovery Plus, the streaming home of freakouts, <laughs> peelouts, and fallouts. You, you, me. Where you can dive in, chow down, stars, dig deep, and let it all hang out. Sorry, Mom. So flip that house, <laughs> pet a puppy, open a new door, or just blow up the streaming home of Wow. Oh, yeah. Discovery Plus, streamed for just $4.99. After Thanksgiving, the NFL season really heats up and the games start to matter for real. Here's our Week 12 Monday Night Football matchup. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks facing a must-win scenario. They take on Taylor Heineke and the Washington football team. They've won two straight, trying to get back into the playoff on 8 Eastern on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and the ESPN app. Our coverage begins with Monday Night Countdown at 6 Eastern. Back here in DeKalb, Illinois, the NIU Huskies have already locked up a MAC West championship, and they're back to work on offense. And their first play is going to lose some yardage. Braden Fisk in there to blow it up. Loss of six on first down. They talked about moving the front, getting around, and making plays. Watch Big 55. They say he can run, Drew, 19.8 miles per hour. You know, he was pulling out all the stats and how guys can run. He said his top end speed. He and Ralph Holly about 19.7, 19.8. That's moving, man. It's amazing the kind of numbers that Tim Lester was pulling out in our call earlier this week. He said these guys can crank it up to 21, 22 miles an hour. Fisk, like you said, almost 20 for a D lineman. That's impressive. He has another stop for a gain of three. Yeah, he does. And unfortunately for Northern, it looks like J.J. Lippy got rolled up on that tackle. Fisk is just flying around the football, making plays, and then all of a sudden you go get that back and you pull him on his offensive lineman. Can't get those legs out from under him. Injured old lineman for NIU. That's J.J. Lippy, the starting left guard. Redshirt freshman out of Milwaukee. Yeah, their offensive line has played really well. They really like to run behind the right side more than the left side. see Braden just coming up and that uh, so many times you're in those positions as a lineman or a tight end blocking you never know what's happening you're just blocking and you're trying to move your feet and if you get stuck right there that's right when people will roll up on you hopefully he's okay and, but that's just the trust that you have to have and you can see coach Hammett coming out talking to him gonna help him up hopefully he's okay that's why they wear those braces, though, to make sure you protect your legs and your lower half. A, a few years ago, back in the day, guys wouldn't want to wear them, and coaches would like, no, they, they couldn't find you in college, but they could <laughs> highly suggest or make sure you put those things on whether you wanted them or not. So you wore one of those bulky braces, Buck? I had to when I hurt my knee. I didn't wear it because <laughs> that's the only time I ever wore those is when I was forced to. <laughs> Good to see Lippy walking off. He's replaced by John Champ. You saw number 76, another freshman, one of 75 guys on this roster who graduated in either 2020 or 21 from high school. Really young NIU team. They go to the Wildcat, Clint Rakovich. He's called a super back for a reason, but he's not going to even sniff first down yardage. Western Michigan with a big defensive stop. 
Yeah, they are. I, they identified right away, and they understand that gives you an extra dimension in your run game. Really nice job. They put them behind the chains because of that very first play. Bra Braden Fisk was right there, and he made another play, and then all those guys get involved. Corvin movement moment, excuse me, was right there. Brings Ference back out for his second punt of the night. Bryce Nunnally back deep to receive, and he lets it bounce, and that's a beauty of a punt by maybe the best punter in NIU history. Ference leads the program all-time in punt return average, and that's a gorgeous one right around the two-yard line, 59 yards. Hey, folks, this is hot off the press. The new college football playoff rankings, no surprise, Georgia at number one, and Buck, finally, Cincinnati is in. <laughs> All the Cincy fans have to be happy. Hey, but Drew, I got to see Georgia this past weekend playing Charleston Southern, mind you, and Charleston Southern competed hard, but Georgia got some dogs, man. They can play, and I, I think Ohio State is peaking at the right time, and Alabama's going to come along, and then it's going to be interesting. Michigan, can, what can you do? You've been doing, talking about it for years. Now you have an opportunity against Ohio State. Man, if the season were to end today and you had Ohio State, Alabama, Bryce Young versus C.J. Stroud, that's must-see TV. <laughs> oh, man. Caleb Ellaby's a pretty good quarterback. He's back to work with this Western Michigan offense. First play is a run that got back maybe to the line of scrimmage for the Broncos. Yeah, and Drew, I think the big thing, too, is if you look at this, how do you get going? This is the hardest area for an offense. You've got to get a first down to really open your playbook, but your offensive line has to create some holes. That one play, one yard is not going to do it. You've got to pick up something positive so you give yourself a chance to get a third down conversion. Talk about the single high safety. They do a lot of this with that 4-2-5 defense. More in motion. Give us to Jackson Kincaid, the senior out of Fort Lauderdale. He's near first down yardage. The cutback ability of these Western Michigan backs and the ones for Northern Illinois are really key. Watch this move. They're going to move zone outside. Boom, I see it, right? That block on the backside gives you the ability and your vision. He's done this all his life, but he knows if I get that backside block, I can cut it back. And look, first down, your playbook starts to expand. Back on the ground with Kincaid. This time he shot out of a cannon, but he's brought down for a gain of just one on first down. And that's what we were talking about, Buck, yeah. is a short yep. gain on first down really sets you back. And at quarterback, by the way, it was Marion Rabowski, the freshman out of Michigan for Western. So Caleb Ellaby getting a couple breathers there. That's the second time we've seen 16 out there. Yeah, they're going to use him a little bit and, and put him in different formations. But Jaden Dolphin shot out of that cannon like you said started as a third string guy and has really moved up the depth chart making plays Ellaby's back in there they keep it on the ground again and it'll set up third down and medium after Sean Tyler picks up three yeah they do it with the combination of linebackers and they'll play different guys on the front but you'll see guys coming off the edge. What you can do, and the reason why I like the 425 is that you can bring a, 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 a hybrid kind of safety, safety or linebacker guy up or over and move him all around. Flexibility. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Western Michigan on the road, a favorite against the Mac West champs, Northern Illinois on senior night in DeKalb. Big run from Sean Tyler. Brent Borski has the touchdown. He was wide open, as Stanford Steve, the tight end, always is. Get all your breakfast babes like hash browns for a few bucks. Only on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu.
So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Everyone loves the benefits of compression socks, but they're just so hard to get on. Until now. Introducing the all-new CopperFit Energy Socks, redesigned for the first-ever easy-on, easy-off fit to help reduce swelling, relieve tired, achy muscles, and provide energizing support. A new blend of stretch fabric for the most comfortable, easy-on, easy-off compression fit. Being a SWAT commander, we train to win. The CopperFit Energy Socks, they didn't feel like other compression socks. They totally exceeded my expectation. Our most powerful copper-infused fabric, woven into our easy-on, easy-off compression sock to help reduce swelling discomfort from prolonged sitting or standing. I'm 38 and a half weeks pregnant. CopperFit Energy Socks worked beautifully. Extra support around the arch and ankles for increased support and relief of muscle aches and pains. I'm so excited about these socks. I'm so much more energized to go do things after a day of work. They just slip right on, yet they still have that same compression that you want. A soft cushion footbed for all day comfort. I'm on my feet at least nine to 10 hours a day. These were fantastic. A lot of compression socks are a little too thin, especially for what I do with CopperFit. I could wear these every day. Feel more energized, feel more active, just feel better. They just hug your leg. It relieves all the pressure that you have. I have so much energy, I can go. Hey, you want to dance? The first ever easy on, easy off compression sock. The most comfortable compression sock you will ever wear. Get your CopperFit Energy Socks now online at GetEnergySocks.com for only $19.99 or call 1-800-614-1032. Order right now and we'll include a second pair of compression socks free. I've never felt anything like it before. No more pain, no more swelling, no more achy, tired feet. I can never go back to regular compression socks again. Don't settle for ordinary. Ask for the original by name, CopperFit Energy Socks. Hi, I'm Wolfgang Buck. When I started my online store, Wolfgang Back Home, I knew there would be a lot of orders to fill, and I wanted them to ship out fast. That's why I chose ShipStation. ShipStation helps manage orders, reduce shipping costs, and print out shipping labels. It's my secret ingredient. ShipStation, the number one choice of online sellers. And Wolfgang Buck. Go to ShipStation.com slash try and get two months free. Are you ready for Monday night? DeKalb. NIU already has locked up a Mac West championship. Right now, Ball State's on top 14-0 against Buffalo. If Ball State wins, the Mac West would be all 500 or better, all six teams which is pretty historic. We'll get to that in a moment as Ellaby lets it fly, and it's caught. Big pop for Western Michigan on the first play of the second quarter. Hooks up with Corey Crooms. I'm telling you, man, when he, you talk about a guy that can flat out fly as Corey Crooms. Still trying to control his ability, but that ball drops right in there from Ellaby. And that's the one thing Tim Lester was talking about. If he can protects the football and does what he needs to, he says he feels really confident that he can make plays. And he's 6 of 7 tonight on fire. It's a guy who is the top efficiency passer coming back to college this year. Only Mac Jones and Zach Wilson were better last year. Handoff to Sean Tyler. Solid gain on first down. This is a 36-yard hookup with Crooms. Yeah, you got to three by one and you see Crooms just that speed taken off and throws it right there he has enough room from that inside slot receiver position to just come over to the side and make a play if it's not him it's going to be the sideline here's 16 Rabowski back in there at quarterback for the third time tonight and he keeps it himself and squirts through the hole for a first down yeah, he gives them the run element that they're, they're looking for. Ellaby can do it, but I think also what it does for him is, is gives him a chance to play as a young player out of River Rouge, Michigan. Grabowski's a guy who ran for 175 yards and three touchdowns in the state championship a few years ago. He's back in there. This time he gives it back to Tyler for no gain on first down. And we'll see him occasionally tonight, but you know it's going to be Caleb Ellaby. He is the key component. 
And you look at this Western Michigan team, they were they, they think they are in position to go bowling, but they said, hey, look, we got to win this ball game. I mean, that was all the talk from all their their coaching staff and everybody around their program really wanting to play well tonight. Yeah, Coach Lester says the future is now. They might not be in contention for a MAC championship, but this could be a springboard to next year for a Western Michigan program that, hey, a couple bounces go their way this year. They're right back in the hunt. Here's Ladarius Jefferson. Tries to shake free, and he cannot do it. Michael, Michael Kennedy did. on the stop. I was, I was going to say, Drew, I hadn't called his name, but when you watch him on tape, man, he flies around. He seems to give them some energy. Number five, you're going to see him on the edge, just keeping contained, almost losing it. But, man, I've seen him just fly and take off five, two or three yards, and Jefferson is a little upset. He will fly to the football, and that's the real key for this defense to make plays like that. Here comes the 10th play of the drive. Broncos three for four on third down. Ellaby throws on the run. Incomplete. Looking for Jalen Hall over the middle. Brings up fourth down and 12. Yeah, that time they just really sat back in that zone. Went cover two, and it looks like maybe... Western's going to think about going for this as a player down. Played so much single high that they go, go cover two there and clear out. Couldn't make that play. Jalen Hall couldn't come up with it. There is an injured Husky. We'll check back on him when we come back. Tis the season to break tradition in a Cadillac. Don't just put on a light show, be the light show. Make your nights anything but silent and ride in a sleigh that really slays. Because in a Cadillac, tradition is yours to define. So visit a Cadillac showroom and start celebrating today. Hi. I'm on Medicare, so before the deadline, I called to see if I was missing out on any extra benefits and if I could really get money added to my Social Security check. The agent said I'm eligible to eliminate co-pays and for Part C benefits including meals, prescriptions, and dental coverage all at no extra cost, plus $1,500 a year added to my Social Security check. I was like, wow, thank you. You can call too. I called to eliminate co-pays. I called to check my zip code. I called to get my dental work covered. I called to get money added to my Social Security check. Right now is the only time of the year you can update your benefits. Call the 800 number on your screen to check your zip code and don't miss the deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-613-7861. That's 1-800-613-7861 now. If you want a great team, you need natural-born leaders, some tough cookies, and a few who do anything to win. Find a group like that. You've got one hell of a team. The Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max lets you vacuum and wash your floors at the same time. Dry messes, wet messes, even area rugs. It uses clean water, and the Bissell Sanitize Formula eliminates 99.9% .9 of bacteria. The brush roll mops, scrubs, and sweeps while powerful suction pulls the dirty water into a separate tank. It's cordless for cleaning freedom. It even cleans itself. And when you buy Bissell, you help save homeless pets. See more at BissellCrossWave.com. Everything's fine. I got this under control. I'm not going down for this. You sure no one would be looking in your direction for this? I could use some help from someone of your stature. There's just certain boundaries you don't cross. What if it was to protect yourself? Don't talk to anyone. Call Tariq. It's too late to be scared now. Watch Stars Originals and more on Channel 525 or on DirecTV On Demand. Western Michigan's got the football at the 35-yard line of Northern Illinois. From here, it would be about a 52 or 53-yard field goal. 
So they bring out the punter, who is also admittedly the kicker, Nick Mahalik, but he's going to punt it away instead of attempting a 52-53 yarder. His career long is 30, and the wind's in their face 10-15 miles an hour. So this decision makes a lot of sense. Trayvon Rudolph is back to receive for NIU as Mahalik attempts the coffin corner. That's a beaut. Man, couldn't ask for any better. Yeah, Rudolph falls on it inside his own five-yard line. It's Mahalik's 13th punt inside the 20 this year. Drew, this win in the cab, man, is tough. And the coaching staff's talked about it both for a negative and a positive, what you can do with it. So, you know, that's the one thing when you look at how this wind blows in that stadium. Not as bad as I think both staffs thought it was going to be, but still it will affect your playing and some of the things that you can do. Tim Lester told us this week, I don't know if there's ever been a nice day in DeKalb, <laughs> Illinois. He knows. He grew up in Wheaton, Illinois, not too far away. Back to work on offense for Ethan Hampton, and they give it to the fullback, Clint Radkovich, and he's loose. Radkovich in a foot race, and the fullback wins it. Midwest football personified, the Rat Dog to the house. 96-yard touchdown. Drew, just like that, you get in jumbo package, or you get in 12 personnel, or you get heavy, whatever you want to call it. But they find that one opening, and he should have been tackled in the backfield. He kept those feet driving, and they love to run where? Off the right side of the line. And that's where they had the home run ball waiting on them. Clint Ratkovich has now scored in five straight games. His 13th touchdown of the season is a memory for life. 96 yards on the first play of the drive. It's a fullback's dream. NIU ties it at seven in style. has been taking you back since way back with freshness and softness you never forget feel the difference with downy if you're on supplemental oxygen tanks make life hard well now there's a better way to get the oxygen your doctor prescribed without a tank now you can create your own oxygen with the Inogen one it's the one solution for home away and travel when i was on tanks I felt imprisoned now that i've got my Inogen one my life is full again with this little device I can now go anywhere I want and do the things that I've always loved. The Inogen One creates all-day oxygen from the air around you. When you have an Inogen One, you can get back to living your life again. I love this, and I love my Inogen because it lets me see this. I could play golf again. I could go grocery shopping again. I could work in the garden again. For a year, I was just nothing without it. I'm free again. Being able to be in my grandchildren's lives, it means the world to me. You're not going to think of me as someone sitting in the house with a tank. They're going to remember me. I didn't want to be that old sick lady in the mirror. With the Inogen, I can handle my own oxygen. I can carry my own oxygen. I can make my own oxygen. I go anywhere with this. It lets me be normal. Almost a million people have decided to get their normal lives back with the Inogen One family of oxygen systems. You should too. You may even be eligible to receive an Inogen One at little or no additional cost. So give us a call and talk to one of our highly trained oxygen specialists. We'll answer any questions you may have and send you your comprehensive guide to respiratory freedom. If you're on oxygen, you need to be using an Inogen. This Inogen really works. You gotta get off the couch and get one. Wouldn't you rather have this than a tank? Really? Pick up the phone, call the Inogen company, they're gonna take care of you. Call 800-579-5321. That's 800-579-5321. Or visit Inogen.com. This is the OYO Personal Gym. You can do chest, back, biceps, triceps, lats, shoulders. There's over a hundred different exercise videos. The Oyo Personal Gym. 
Wow, we're still catching our breath. Northern Illinois ties it up at seven after a 96-yard touchdown from Clint Rakovich. Drew, look at this. They're going to block this up perfectly. Rakovich is going to get the ball. If you pause it there, look at the. They're able to block one, two, three, and then you have a safety on the other side that's going to get picked up. And then all of a sudden, your eyes get big. I've been here 57 yards against Nebraska. I've been there in high school, 93 yards. I know what it feels like to go to the house. I'm feeling you, dog. I'm feeling you. I didn't get a 96, but I got a 93. Touchdown. Woo. Man, I'm just oh. telling you. <laughs> Buck, that got you fired up, pal. Oh, when you see that green grass like that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Second longest touchdown run in school history. You got to go all the way back to 1934. The flying fin, Reno Nori, with a 99 yard touchdown all the way back in the day. I don't even think they were called the Huskies back then. And you can feel the momentum in DeKalb as Sean Tyler's going nowhere on the kick return. I'm going to tell you who's the happiest. Joe Novak, the, the former coach. You know, Thomas Hammock and he talked a couple times a week. And he was the guy that turned this program around, Drew, before they call it Maxion. That's how old I am. I was calling these games when it was just bad dudes playing like Thomas Hammock. I bet you he was trying to run down the sideline and catch his, his fullback on that one. Whew. Physicality. But I think the thing that they've been able to do with this young group of guys is get them to buy in and understand hey that's what it's about competing you talked about it earlier Rakovich has a lot of yards and a lot of different things because of his versatility and they find ways to get him on the field Rakovich's Twitter bio says he's a super back and he looked like one on that play hey there's a super wide out for Western Michigan as Sky Moore catches the slant and runs after the catch Drew look at how quick this ball gets out he gets back to that step and whoosh, the ball comes out. If you're a receiver, you love it. Sky Moore catching it, almost taking that one to the house. We'll see a lot of this, man. A lot of stuff happening in this game. It's typical Maxion, 27 yards on that catch by Sky Moore. There's that RPO. The hand is to Jackson Kincaid, and he's brought down around midfield. Yeah, you see it right here. Typical play in the RPO world where you got a glance, like a quick slant. And he's so quick and savvy. When he gets to the top of that route, boom, he knows the ball's going to be there. And he doesn't hesitate. Caleb Ellaby gets it to him. And you, as a receiver, you love it when a guy can put it on you like that. Again, too high safety. Let's see who comes the spinner. Who's going to come down in that alley? You can see him creeping down now. LB keeps. It's the slant again. It's Moore again. Kissing goodbye. Touchdown, Western Michigan. You see where the safety came from? LB identified it. They go right to that area. They pick up the safety coming hard and then throw it right in that spot. Woo! This is some great offensive football, guys. Man, 50 yards. Okay. You score on us, we come back with our guy, Sky Moore, who's going to make a play or two. There's a reason they don't call him Sky Less. Last week at Eastern Michigan, 12 for 181 and a touchdown. He's got a big touchdown here tonight. Sure, they talked about him being small in stature, man, but he attacks the ball and he ain't afraid. I love great offensive football, but when you have plays like this that puts you in the ability, look at it at home, people. You want to see how you get open? Woo! I'm open. I'm going to the house. You ain't going to catch me. Ref, you trying to catch me? I'm going home, and I'm going to get some food after this one. In today's world, you need to keep your home clean more than ever before. Stop scrubbing harder and start cleaning smarter with Sani 360, the amazing all-purpose cleaner that cleans like you've never seen, removing the stuck-on tough stuff. Just point and press. Sani 360's extra-long applicator nozzle gets in the tight spots others can't, releasing a concentrated blend of powerful foaming action enzymes that expand and clean on contact. Instantly, millions of micro-cleaning enzymes surround, penetrate, lift, and separate dirt and grime at the surface, leaving nothing but a clean, lemon-fresh scent behind. 
Remove burnt on spills on any stovetop surface without scratching. Wipe away backsplash splatters fast and make dried up microwave messes a thing of the past. Just press, foam, and let the cleaning enzymes do the work on this dried up oven cleaning nightmare. Like magic, the built up baked on grime wipes away in no time without the scrubbing. With the extra long nozzle, give the sink disposal a blast of Sani 360 to clean below the surface, removing months of food mess and odors, leaving that Sani fresh lemon scent behind. Clean hard water spots around faucets and fixtures. Remove built up soap scum to make shower heads and hardware shine. Wipe out shower residue and stains on tile and get rid of that ugly stain around the tub and drain. Sandy 360 removes the stuck on tough stuff, sending it down the drain with just a rinse. So take that nasty toilet bowl cleaning job and flush it with Sandy 360. And right now you can get two 14 ounce bottles of Sandy 360 for just $19.99. But wait, order now and we'll send two more 14 ounce bottles for just $10 more. And the shipping is absolutely free. Sandy 360 from the fine family of Sandy 360 cleaning and deodorizing products. Clean smarter, not harder with a fast action foaming enzymes in Sandy 360. And the shipping is free. Here's how to order. To order your Sani 360 and Lemon Fresh, go online at Sani360Cleaner.com or call 1-800-572-9563. That's 1-800-572-9563. Order now. The priorities were basically playing football and trying to be the best I could be. Super Bowl 38. When you start something, you got to finish it. In all these games, it took that much to win. That's the difference between being remembered and not being remembered. Blues Blackhawks on ESPN Plus. Friday, all for hockey. Sky Moore has been putting up sky high numbers this year. The sophomore out of the Pittsburgh area, he has been phenomenal. He just ripped off a 50 yard touchdown to give his Broncos the lead right back. Yeah, when you have that ability to just catch the ball on the run and it's, it, he puts it on him. Tim Lester talked about having a rhythmic passer. That drive, two big plays by Sky Moore. Wind is picking up here in DeKalb. It's a short kick and it's fumbled and it's recovered by the Broncos. Western Michigan with great field position. Nick Mahalik is fired up. Not sure if they drew it up like that, but it works just the same. Huge mistake. You've got to come away with the ball, especially if you call fair catch. Not the play that you want if you're Northern Illinois. Harrison Taylor on the recovery for Western Michigan. It goes down in the stat sheet just like an onside kick. And give him the turnover belt. Tim Lester said it's been too long since we've seen that. Three weeks since a turnover. This one comes on special teams. Yeah, Drew Casson calls for the fair catch and just can't, can't secure it. I think he was looking down the field before he got the opportunity to feel that ball cleanly. God, that's, that, that's one that you know you have it right there. You, you, you made everything and then you just don't finish the play. And Buck, how about the turnover battle so far? Western Michigan is plus two. That's been a huge issue for them over their last five games. And that was a one part bone of contention for Tim Lester. That will be back to work. Just hit a bomb to Sky Moore. This time he tries it for Corey Crooms, and it's broken up by the safety, C.J. Brown. C.J. Brown, it's a really good ability right there to cover. I'm interested if this is going to go against him. But he was in the area. Good young player. Defense number six, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. He is it real is aggressive. Call from our referee, Jeremy Valentine. Brown was stapled to Crooms there. <laughs> yeah, he was. He replaced Devin Lafayette after in the Georgia Tech game. Lafayette was scheduled to be the starter. They said C.J. Brown was going to play a lot. But he is, man, just he's a leading tackler on this team and always around the football. Yeah, Lafayette was an all-Mac performer last year as a true freshman, broke his leg in that Georgia Tech game, and Brown has stepped in. They haven't missed a beat at that position. After the penalty, though, WMU's just outside the red zone. Sean Tyler on the ground, short gain. Demont Taylor Jr. on the stop for NIU. Trying to bring that tight end, Worski, back and then run right behind him. But that was a nice tackle by Demont Taylor, as you said. That physical presence on the inside 
10 and 1. They really need those two guys to play well interior wise. Cade Haberman, he'll will also call his name a little bit as well. Identify, then you move the back over. There's something that you see that tells you, okay, this is going to move them a certain way. Let's see if it works for them. It's the give to Sean Tyler, who just went in motion. He's in motion for a first down inside the 10. It's an idea of where their defense is going to go. So he starts on the right and then comes back to the left. And what do they do? They send him back the other way with that play. Tight end again, coming across. They'll do a lot of that. I like to call that, we used to call that a, a, a you know, cut back block or slash. You come back, look, he's coming back to secure the backside. And then the back is able to just take it the other way. Slice what you think? is what we used what? to call that with that tight end coming back. Sorry what that, was boy. it that Ellaby saw that made him motion Tyler? Well, they're going to see that the de defense moves over each time that they do that, and it'll give them a, a guy to just move over just the space, and it allows you to block that person a little bit better. Ellaby to throw this time. Just had a touchdown to Moore. Is it another one? Yes, sir. Sky Moore in his bag on a Tuesday in DeKalb. Uh, he's all in that bag. And, and you, you said it best. Those are the kind of routes down here where it's so hard for a defender to defend and a quarterback that's accurate to just put it in there and drop it in the bucket. I've watched, yeah, I've watched guys make this play, Drew. You start on the inside, smash route. Okay, oh, I got you. Ooh, now I know the ball is there. Look, right there where it needs to be. Nobody can catch it but me or the sideline, and I'm going to make sure I secure this so I can get another touchdown tonight. Because Thanksgiving dinner is going to be great if I keep scoring. Because I know <laughs> these guys from Northern are going to ball, and I got to make sure I get some distance from them. Hey, man, Sky Moore is feasting. <laughs> He's getting his early Thanksgiving tonight on Tuesday. They're going to look at this again, but look at that. Yeah. Foot down. Man, what? and he secures the catch. Great call. Look at the officials right there. Our camera guys are on it. Woo! Foot down. Comes away with the catch, secures it before he hits out of bounds. I think that's a catch. You're right, Buck. What a job by our ESPNU crew to give us some looks. They're out there brave in the cold, mid-30s. The wind is up. Our camera crew has been mm. phenomenal so far in this first half. They give you a nice look at that Sky Moore touchdown. After review, the rule on the field is confirmed. It is a touchdown. Jeremy Valentine confirms it. Two touchdowns tonight for Sky Moore. Back-to-back -back passes. Yeah, this is one where you knew the guy who you had to cover and understand where he is at all times, right now you're not finding him. He, he, he's, he's coming away with ma major plays on two drives in a row where they're big plays. You've got to figure out how to stop Sky Moore. Nick Mahalik, three for three on extra points tonight. Sky Moore has got two touchdowns. The first one was 50 yards on a catch and run. This one more of a corner fade route. This guy's a versatile wide receiver, Buck. Man, he, he, and the thing is, when you have a quarterback that can put it anywhere, right? You, you just, you know by design where this defense is going to be, and you take advantage of it. You know, Tim Lester said it, hey, they're going to be a man, so we're going to play some things, and single high safety will get you options, and if they're playing man right there and you're down on the goal line, it's almost a given you're going to run a smash. That outside receiver come up, and then you run that corner route, and Sky Moore does such a nice job of setting it up. He doesn't rush into the route. He attacks the defender, gets out there, and gives LB space to throw the football, and that's why it's a touchdown. Sky Moore has his third multi-touchdown game of the season. He's a guy who was first-team All-Mac as a true freshman back in 2019, the first one in program history, saying a lot for a program that's produced wide receivers like Greg Jennings, Corey Davis, D. Eskridge was a second-round pick of Seattle last year. More trouble with a short kick for Northern Illinois, and this time they just fall on. I would just keep kicking it that way, and to your point, there have been so many, I think the Western Michigan has had probably the most pros in a certain stint here lately. They've had some really talented wide receivers and Guys that, you know, Gary Darnell was there back in the day, and Tim Lester and I talked about him. We just couldn't say enough about him. Both of these coaches that I watched these young men as players play, having some of the same kind of 
you know, the DNA of what their coaches gave them. Physicality, if you're Northern Illinois, if you're Western, you have some explosiveness in your play design. I mean, it's just a really nice thing to watch. Ethan Hampton back to work for this Northern Illinois Jay offense. Give on first down to Jay Ducker, and finally we get to see the Huskies offense again, Buck, because it's been a while after that <laughs> kickoff was fumbled. Yeah, you, you cannot give an explosive offense opportunities, and it takes you away from what you like to do. This, this is a, a Northern team that wants to run and get a lead and pound you. They can come from behind, but they really much rather play from ahead. Keep it on the ground on second down. It's Ducker again. Somehow stays on his feet. And Ducker has a first down for the Huskies. It just looks like nobody wants to tackle him. Each time they hit him, he's just able to bounce, and just keep moving, power and driving the legs. And again, here's a guy that wasn't, you know, playing well. But every week you talk about fighting for carries, and he's been fighting for him down the stretch because of runs like that. He started the season second on the depth chart, got demoted to the scout team. Now he's the top dog, averaging over 26 carries over his past five. And they go back to Clint Ratkovich, and he's swallowed up by Ralph Holly in the backfield for a loss of two. Man, Ralph Holly looked like he was going to take the handoff. He was back there so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You have to get off blocks against this Northern Illinois team, and one guy is always going to be free. He has to make that TFL. If he doesn't, we've seen them be able to make huge long runs. So it's really critical that you stop that running back if you have an opportunity. This is big, forcing NIU behind the sticks. The Huskies have thrown for negative four yards so far tonight. Compare that to 155 for the Broncos. Pre-snap flag comes in. Oh, sir. Penalty. Second down. It's the center, Braden Patton, one of seven seniors on the roster. Yeah, and if you're Lou Esposito, you're going to dial up pressure here, man. You got a young guy that you know has not really been able to throw the ball much. And a great story between him and Tim Lester playing for a in their AF two days. And just, boy, it was, it was good talking to both of these staffs. Those two guys played together for the Memphis Explorers back in the AF2 in 2002. If you had Memphis Explorers on your bingo card tonight, check it off. Back on the ground, and it's blown up again. It's going to set up third down and forever. Ali Fayad, number one, is the first guy in there. Hadn't talked about Ali a whole lot tonight because they haven't had a lot of pass rush stuff, but they, they think he can really play in that. And he does a nice job in the run game. Just getting in there, making sure he's in position along with Zaire Barnes, who's a long and rangy guy. Now third down, you've got to be worried if you're Northern because this is not where the young man has really shown that he can be proficient so far tonight. Negative four passing yards tonight for Ethan Hampton. They need 16 on third down. Hampton's pass floated, broken up, incomplete. You know, Drew, that's the other thing throwing and he's got to get accustomed to the wind but that ball hung up there for quite a bit and it almost was in harm's way but again you don't want to be in third and long when you have one two three four defenders in the general vicinity when you only have two and you know who they're going to Trayvon Rudolph who's a key component key weapon 35 Jake Myrtle the linebacker looked like Superman flying through <laughs> to knock that one down the junior out of Illinois Ference back out to kick it away. Again, Nunnally lets it bounce, but he receives it on that first skip, and he's chopped down at his own 20. Western Michigan's offense has been rolling. Caleb Ellaby back to work when we come back. America, after the past year-ish, everyone deserves something new. So AT&T is giving everyone our best deals on every iPhone, including the iPhone 13 Pro with its amazing camera. Like everyone that worked from home or welcomed a new family member. There are a lot of dogs. Our deals are for everyone. It's not complicated. AT&T is giving new and existing customers our best deals on every iPhone, including up to $1,000 off the Epic iPhone 13 Pro. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that 
will make everyone feel like an MVP. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. You rip and tear your old statements and bills and simply toss those old bottles of pills. But thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone. Look, thieves use your trash to get credit cards in your name. Then you're responsible for the bills. But ID Police permanently prints a unique encryption graphic that makes it impossible to read through, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light and it works on all forms of paper, matte or glossy. Paper shredders are slow and always jam, but roll with ID Police and you're in control. Watch again, here's a bank statement with your name and account number. Now, one easy roll and all your personal information is blocked. Name and address, blocked. Credit card number, blocked. Phone, electricity, and gas bill. Now they're all safe to toss in the trash. So relax. Even your medical information is safe with the ID police. And did you know those receipts have information too? So carry ID police with you and have peace of mind. Perfect for professionals always on the go. So block it out before you throw it out and thwart any thief with the ID police. Order now and get your ID police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. That's right, free shipping. This offer is not available on Amazon. So call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Don't wait, call now. To order your special offer, ID police call 1-800-566-6075. That's 1-800-566-6075. Call or visit at idpolice.com. So call 1-800-566-6075 now. Sky Moore is Western Michigan's top dog. He's got five catches, 99 yards, and two scores already, Buck. Drew, he's smooth, he's efficient, and the Roots had a great song coming to break you off. Well, he's going to break you off if he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation where he's been most of the night. And when you play good music and you're rhythmic as a passer, you've got a receiver who can snag it and do that so many times and effectively for you. Bucket is cold tonight in DeKalb, but Sky Moore is roasting dudes. <laughs> He's bringing the heat with some of that route running, man. Caleb Ellaby is out for the first play of this drive. They go back to the reserve quarterback and the true freshman, Marion Rabowski, who's dangerous with his legs, four yards on first down. Yeah, he's a physical guy at 6'2", 230. Not a little guy. And then Ladarius Jefferson at 6'1", 235, trying to pick up a key block for him. Quarterback runs, you have some advantages from a number standpoint when you do it. Rabowski keeps it again. Sheds a tackle. Cuts up field. And he'll bring up third down and about five. He's wrangled down by Javon Bird, who's giving up about 50 pounds in that matchup. <laughs> yeah, nice tackle. Rabowski almost tripped himself. But then he was able to kind of gather himself and continue to run. And I think this, this is a good element for them to throw in and give him a chance. He's had six rushes on the year for about 16 yards. Rabowski. Not a whole lot of activity, but still just a, another dimension for this offense. Ellaby's back in here on third down and four. He's got a quarterback rating of 290.2 tonight, which I didn't even think was possible. Yeah, from my math, my rudimentary math, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and before they snap it, timeout for Tim Lester. And Western Michigan, you know, it's really fun talking with head coach Tim Lester. I've gotten a chance to speak with him a couple times before their games. You know, he's one of the best quarterbacks in really Mac history. When he left Western Michigan, he was top 10 in all-time NCAA history in yards and touchdowns. Got a chance to play professionally for a little bit. He's a fun guy to talk with, Buck. Yeah, he could spin it, Drew. I mean, he could really play. And Jake Moreland was one of the tight ends they had. Jake is uh, a tight ends coach and a coach in the NFL now. You know, those guys were really playing well. I'll say this, Gary Darnell, who was their head coach, 
really was getting that program going at that time. And, and when you go to Kalamazoo, you better be ready to play because those guys, are going, they were going to punch in the mouth on defense. But offensively, it was some, some air shows they could put up. And they had a good run game as well. on the draw lots of room for Ladarius Jefferson who bounces it outside and is across midfield for the Broncos cat and mouse game there drew they showed all that hand signal to make you think the receivers were getting something that forced northern to stay in too high and when you have the number count give it to Ladarius Jefferson who's a big pounding guy and you can see those yards that he was able to pick up 26 yards for Jefferson, the 6 1, 235 transfer from Michigan State. This time, Ellaby keeps and completes, but Chromes had it in his hands and drops it. There is a flag on the play. We'll check that. I really thought he handed the ball off. They did such a nice job with the ball handling. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense number 66. Five yard penalty. First down. The RPO game will get you sometimes in the offensive line and have some room. Wesley French was caught. That was the one thing we talked to the officials before today. Would they call us? Look for 66. Oh, yeah, he's way down the field. <laughs> yeah, Buck, you get three yards. I think yeah. he took maybe five or six. <laughs> Yeah, but as an offensive lineman in his defense, he doesn't know. He's taught to just keep going. And that's one where it took so long with the ball handling that it put him in no man's land. Play clock winding for this Western Michigan scan offense. Moore's in motion. He's got two touchdowns tonight. They spoon feed him the football because he's so dynamic. Gain six. The other thing is talking about his size, but he runs hard. That right there is what you have to do in on, the, on the interior. You gotta kind of just identify, okay, I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna really attack this defense. Only, it only picks up six yards, but it's one of those things when receivers run jet sweep, you're afraid that they'll just get a little bit timid. He wasn't timid on that run. You know, Sky Moore was the first player in Whipple history in the Pittsburgh area with 1,000 rush yards and 1,000 pass yards in consecutive seasons. He was a quarterback at Shadyside Academy, but didn't get a lot of offers out of high school. He's motivated to prove everyone wrong. Ellaby throws on second down and nine. This time it is caught by Crooms, who dropped one earlier in the drive. That's a first down for the Broncos. Yeah, Crooms is still learning how to do things and control himself. He's probably one of the fastest guys, gotten up to about 21 miles per hour in practice. But again, Ellaby giving his guys a chance to catch the ball. That they don't, they can go fast, but they're just taking their time. They, they clearly feel comfortable with this lead, but want to add to it, Drew. Two and a half to play in this first half. Western Michigan's been in control, aside from one long 96-yard touchdown run from Clint Rakovich. Ellaby lets it rip left side. Moore was there, but he couldn't haul it in. Threw it a little too far, had him open, and they had everything they needed. They were pass protection, back picking up the, the blitz that was coming. Ellaby just missed on that one. Just couldn't quite get us. I think Sky was thinking, hey, he's going to throw with a little bit more air. He took him more to the sideline. And see, they, they, what, receivers will look at the quarterback, quarterback will look at him like, yeah, that was me, dog. That was my bad. <laughs> and I think Sky Moore owes Meyer some money after running right through their advertisement on the sideline. I'm just happy he checked up before he got to the marching band because that could have been carnage. <laughs> oh, like, so close. On the ground, Jackson Kincaid with the carry. That's going nowhere. Pierce O'Pong and Lance DeVoe. That's yeah, DeVoe. Lance, yeah. DeVoe, the redshirt senior out of Pompano Beach, Florida. Went to powerhouse St. Thomas Aquinas High School, and he's one of the best players on this defense, one of only seven seniors on the roster. 
And some really good players out of St. Thomas Aquinas consistently. You know, one of those programs, if you look across the landscape of college football, you'll see guys sprinkled all throughout. You know, some defense has been challenged tonight. But part of it, too, has been their offense's inability to do much in the pass game. It's really been run, run-centric. And, and they're in position to play for the, you know, the MAC championship. But Thomas Hammock was, was adamant about, hey, man, every time we get out on the field, we want to compete. And another thing that's made it tough on this defense, Buck, is Western Michigan's possessing the football. It's a team yeah. that's sixth in the country in time of possession this year. Right now, they're almost doubling up Northern Illinois in T.O.P. And they play clean. They really haven't done anything to hurt themselves, which has been their problem throughout course, uh, course stretches of, of this season. You know. Good to see him getting up and moving around. I hope he's okay. You see Thomas Hammock there on the right side of your screen. I mean, this guy personifies players coach. He doesn't take it easy on him in practice, but the camaraderie of this program. I mean, Buck, it's the only way you go from winless to division champs. Yeah, it, it takes a lot for guys to buy into your program and do the things that are necessary for you to be so poor as a team last year and a team this year that is playing at a high level with a lot of you. And, and that's the one thing. They don't ever really want to say it, but if you bring it up, you can look at the bo uh, any board you create, all the guys that they have that are going to, you know, have some football left in them, a lot of football at the college level. You got to hand it to a guy like Lance DeVoe, too, who's been here through the good times and the bad. He turned 24 in March, again, came from Florida to northern Illinois to play for this program, and he's been rewarded with an amazing season in his senior year. Back in the day, Drew, it was a, a bunch of Floridians and Texans and some Californians that got to the MAC along with those Midwestern kids, and it just made the conference better. On third down and nine, it's Borski who's got a touchdown tonight, sifts his way through, and this could be four down territory. We mentioned Nick Mahalik's career long is only 30 yards. They're just inside the 30 on fourth down and short. Borski moves well for a 6'7", 275 pound guy. You look at him and you think, well, and when he runs those seam routes, Ellaby has a big target. Look at him next to his guys. He, he, <laughs> it looks like, you know, when, when grown guys are playing with their little kids and, and, and during <laughs> Thanksgiving, I mean, he just towers over everybody with that size. Been out a little bit and now came back and has really made a difference in this offense, both in the run game and the pass game. Of course, you got him. a Naperville, Illinois, <laughs> Naper thrill. He's got a lot of family at this one. Sorry to cut you off there, Buck, but we got to show these these games later on in the final week of the regular season. Rivalry week is tasty, baby. Yeah. Well, Drew, it's funny you bring up tasty. Remember, we talked to the coaches and all these games. You got to have some good food with it. But what did we talk about? Chicago style pizza. Which one did you like? And everybody gave us their opinion. It was so good to hear. I love when I talk to guys from the Chicago area about that. But great matchups coming up. You got to check it out. I got my eyes on UNC, NC State. NC State could win the ACC if they get some help from Boston College against Wake Forest. That game's on Saturday. UNC, NC State, as you see, is Friday. What, what about the Egg Bowl? Man, yeah, that's man. one that, I mean, that that's one you got to be excited about. With Lane Kiffin. <laughs> oh, man. And, and Lane Kiffin, Mike Leach, just sign yeah. me up for postgame. I don't care who wins. <laughs> just sign me up for postgame. I just want to see who's going to outdo each other. I mean, that, that one there is going to be great. I really think. I mean, we got a good matchup of, of ball, man. You got to love it. By the way, you mentioned the pizza there, Buck. We got to we gotta clean that up. Tim Lester said, what is his favorite? It's Giordano's, right? Giordano's yeah, over that the was that, that was right. That was right. Personally, I disagree, but, you know, to each their own. Hey, I'll eat all of them. So I That's mean, right. if, if, <laughs> but Lou Malnati's, Giordano's, you know, there's a bunch of them that these folks from Chicago know, even the ones off the beaten path. 
Fourth down and four. Western goes for it. Ellaby wants it all. Sky Moore is there, and he holds it in. His third touchdown tonight on the snow cone catch. Drew, I didn't think he had any chance of catching that when the ball was in the air. And he just took another level of speed and caught up to it. Wow. I mean, this is a, a throw that's up there high, and sometimes the wind can take it. But Sky, at the last second, reaches out. So often receivers can't quite get to that. He didn't even have to dive. He just ran through the football and at the last second plucked it out of the air. Plucked it out of the sky, you might wow. say. <laughs> Mahalik's extra point is good. And you said it, Buck. I don't know if it's Sky Moore or Dom Toretta out there because he shifted gears right at the last second. I mean, he did. He just he took another. You talk about if you want to say fast and furious, he was. Whoosh. That second gear. But again, in that in that slot where you have a matchup and you know it's one on one and the, the defender has no chance. He if he doesn't put his hands on him, Josh Earl knows I can't keep up with him. Ellerby is feeling it. When you have those, uh, like when you see it drawn up, you, you know this from playing ball, but when you see it come to life, the things you've worked on in practice, the quarterback's excited, but as a receiver, you know Sky Moore said, okay, I see pay dirt again. And all of a sudden, the ball is in the air, and boom, I just go pluck it out of the air and take it in for six. There's Andre Carter, one of Western Michigan's best defensive linemen, who's hanging out right in front of the heater. We're just about freezing in northern Illinois right now, but Sky Moore is heating up. Yeah, Sky can be the heat for everybody right now. Uh, he came out and just whoosh, all of a sudden. It's a couple of drives, man, and it's just been all Sky Moore and Caleb Ellaby. And it's hard for you. People will say, well, why don't you change what you do? It's hard to do that when you are, are who you are. And they just find, they're finding ways to pick on different people back there. It's another short kick, and NIU starts near their 35-yard line. Hey, folks, we talked about rivalry weekend. It is, and we cap our Saturday triple header on ABC with the 116th annual Bedlam game between Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. The Sooners have won the last six against the Pokes, 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Now, the Cowboys have already clinched a spot in the Big 12 championship game. The Sooners need a win to get in. That's Saturday Night Football presented by Capital One. All right, 80 seconds left for Northern Illinois, who's had no success throwing tonight. Ethan Hampton hands it off to Jay Ducker, and they have no success running on first down. Yeah, and it's made them really one-dimensional. And you know as a defense, that one big run you gave up has really been all they've had. They have, they've generated a few things, but they haven't been able to cons consistently march down the field. So you just pin your ears back, and you make sure you're in gap sound places, and it forces a team that's accustomed to being tight and want to run after you have to spread out some. Northern Illinois has got two timeouts, but they are not in a hurry on this. It could be last drive of the first half. Snap with six on the play clock. Hampton hands off to Ducker again. He stood up right around the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it looks like they'll be content with not doing anything to give the ball back to Western Michigan. But I think the other thing is you want to get into the half and figure out a way to get things going. You see Rocky Lombardi, who might be available in an emergency situation. He's been the starter all season for Northern Illinois, not playing tonight. Got injured a few weeks ago at Kent State. So Ethan Hampton, the true freshman, is playing in his stead tonight. And Western Michigan's taking advantage. Broncos came in as a favorite on the road against the Mac West champs. And so far, they're proving that prediction right. Western Michigan's got four passing touchdowns, a season high for Caleb Ellaby. Three of them to Sky Moore, 28-7. Western leads. We take you to the studio on the other side. Want your clothes to smell freshly washed all day without heavy perfumes? Now they can with Downy Light in-wash freshness boosters. 
Just pour a cap full of beads into your washing machine before each load to give your laundry a light scent that lasts longer than detergent alone, with no heavy perfumes or dyes. Finally, a light scent that lasts all day. New Downy Light, available in four naturally inspired scents. On a suspicious Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Howdy, Logan. Wonder if you can help me out with something. Sure, Sheriff. Sure. Looking for a couple of goalposts. Went missing after the big win last night. What? That's awful. Who would steal a goalpost? Say, that is a nice new swing set you got there. Oh, this old thing well, makes the boy happy, I guess. Interesting design. Oh, yeah, it's Scandinavian. You know what? You should check the streakers across the street. They have a very suspicious new antenna. Thanks for the tip. Anytime, Sheriff. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Hi, folks. Medicare open enrollment is simple. One, call the number on your screen. Two, the agent will look up your zip code to see if you're able to eliminate co-pays and get Part C benefits like prescriptions and expanded coverage for your dental work at no extra cost. Three, they'll check if you're eligible to get money added to your Social Security check up to $1,700 a year. Call to check your zip code. I call to check my zip code. I call to eliminate co-pays. I call to get everything I deserve. I call to get money added to my Social Security check. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can, too. Call the 800 number on your screen to check your zip code. Don't miss the deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-222-7889. That's 1-800-222-7889 now. Explore your passions. Turn dreams into realities. Get involved, connected. Bring your ideas, innovations, and artistry to life where your education is affordable, where you can make a difference, where you are welcomed, inspired, and challenged, where you can be a Husky. It all begins with a visit to NIU. Guys, your eyes, beautiful on the outside, but if you have diabetes, there can be some not so pretty stuff going on inside. It's true, with diabetic retinopathy, excess sugar can damage blood vessels, causing vision loss or even blindness. So remember this, now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is important to your long-term diabetes management. See a path forward with actions and treatments that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Visit NowIC.com and take control of your sight. No matter what other carriers want you to believe, high prices don't get you a great network. A great network gets you a great network. That's what you get with Total Wireless because it runs on the largest, most dependable network, now with 5G. So you don't have to pay a lot to get the data you need. And for a limited time, we are doubling your high-speed data on our $35 unlimited plan. So you can double your laughing, your scrolling, your everything. Total Wireless, do you amazing. Look, atop the college football playoff rankings, Ohio State goes up a couple of spots to two, and Cincinnati is into the top four, setting yet another high water mark for teams outside the Power Five. The question now becomes, can the Bearcats finish undefeated and hold their spot? Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Joey Galloway here with you at halftime. So a little bit of a change there. Some of the, these teams will play each other, Ohio State and Michigan this week. What's your initial re reaction to what you saw? I think Ohio State earned that spot. I mean, you watched what they did to Michigan State. They, they, just, what? they just scored again. So, I mean, uh, offense has been playing great all season long. We know how dynamic they are, but the defense has really, really come on. You saw early in the year they didn't have a clue how to adjust to certain formations. We're getting pounded. Now they're doing the pounding. So I think Ohio State deserved Joey to be moved up to the number two hole. They, they earned that right, I think. And when the rankings came out a few weeks ago, we were all talking about what is Cincinnati's path to get into that top four. Well, now it's starting to fall into place with Oregon losing, with Michigan State losing the way they did, and with Cincinnati finally looking like a playoff caliber team and their win over SMU, they jump in at number four. Now it's going to be interesting if they beat East Carolina, then Houston in the AAC championship game, can they hold off whoever's behind them? Depending on how you look at such things, there's certainly their overall strength of schedule is not comparable to some of the others. But among the contenders at this moment, as we sit here, they have the best win yeah. with a victory against number six Notre Dame in South Bend. 
Ohio State and Michigan, another top five matchup between these longtime rivals coming up Saturday. College game day will be in Ann Arbor. Just a ridiculous embarrassment of riches for Ohio State on offense. Michigan's done just enough on offense to complement their great pass rush. See if they can get C.J. Stroud a little bit rattled. That seems to be the best path if Aiden Hutchinson, David Ojabo can disrupt the Ohio State passing. I, I think people are looking at this wrong if they say, oh, well, Michigan State beat Michigan. Michigan has no chance. Michigan's at home. Michigan, Michigan is a better matchup for Ohio State than Michigan State was. Michigan State couldn't stop anybody through the air. Michigan, they have two top ten guys that can rush the passer, rush the quarterback, make life difficult. And another thing, Michigan knows exactly who they are. They are ground and pound. They are eat clock. They are short in the game. They are don't give the ball back to Ohio State, Joey. So I think this is a better stylistic matchup. Michigan playing at home. Don't just write them off because Michigan and Michigan State played and Michigan State won. And I don't think it's just the run game of, of Michigan that's going to be important. Not sure uh, what the status of quorum is, but, but Haskins has been terrific running the ball for Michigan. And Cade McNamara making plays when they need him to make plays down the field has also been key for this offense. So that they're just not one-dimensional uh, like we saw Michigan State against Ohio State where uh, they, once you took away the run, they had no answers for that team. This will be a much better game because Michigan is more balanced than Michigan State. But if Ohio State and, and C.J. Stroud and that offense get rolling again, I don't know who's staying with them. It'll be interesting to see if Michigan can slow them down. It'll be great to see the game back. Wasn't played last year due to COVID. Buckeyes, though, have won the last eight meetings and 15. Feels like 50. Well, it's 15 of the last 16. Feels like a lot. And somehow, some way in Bedlam, Oklahoma State has actually won more often against Oklahoma than Michigan has against Ohio State. And still Mike Gundy's team, two and 14 over the last 16 meetings. But this, see Caleb Williams running wild. Nobody has run wild against this Cowboy defense. In fact, uh, the offense has been a complimentary piece. Oklahoma State's defense, David, has allowed one touchdown in its last four games. Is that one, good? Yeah, one of the touchdowns <laughs> they gave up. The offense gave it up on a scoop and score. Yeah, a, a bunch of older guys, um, a, bunch of, a bunch of guys that understand exactly what they're trying to accomplish. They don't beat themselves. Uh, they turn the football over. They do such a great job getting it back to their offense. And their offense complements them well because their offense is a pound you offense. They shorten the game as well. So this defense has been dominant all year long. This is, I feel like, Joey, man, every year I feel like Oklahoma State, you go into this matchup and you're like, I think the Cowboys can do it. I think the Cowboys can do it. This is their cross to bear. The Oklahoma's been their team blocking them. Now they got a chance not only to beat Oklahoma, beat them maybe twice, beat them, beat, uh, win, the, uh, win the Big 12, and now go to the college football playoff. Even bigger stakes, can they do it? Yeah, and, and this is their best chance simply because this Oklahoma offense, which we talk about Caleb Williams and how what a difference maker he's been, but when they can't run the football, they're not a very good football team. We saw them in the first half, half against Kansas, couldn't run it, they were losing. We fought first half against Texas, couldn't run it, they were losing, couldn't run it against Baylor, they lost that game. And so it isn't their ability to pass it, they have to find a way to run the ball against the Oklahoma State defense. That is really good. Can we just, that is motivated by the things you just said. Can we just they have a chance. Screen real quick, Joey? If they knock off Oklahoma, they have a chance to get there. Joey, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Did you see the screen? It said key wins, Texas. Like, we're looking at Oklahoma's key win. Well, Texas is the first one on the line, Iowa State. Like, that's why, that, that is why, oh, that's why they're ranked number 10. And yeah, despite their brand I mean, name and their history in the college football playoff and their all-time history, uh, they're still ranked at number 10. Uh, David mentioned potentially having back-to-back -back bedlams. That would happen if Oklahoma wins. Could also happen if Oklahoma State beats Oklahoma, but Baylor loses its finale too, and then you'd have to turn around and play bedlam all over Glad again. Glad you got that all taken. You know that would be that would be the Cowboys' luck, wouldn't it? You beat them. You finally get get all of that cross off your back. The albatross is cut free. And you got to turn around and play them again oh. for the Big 12 championship. Let's look at some other games from this Thanksgiving weekend uh, that have caught our attention. Egg Bowl Thursday night on ESPN. Uh, Ole Miss sitting there. Ole Miss is uh, ninth in the country of chance with a 10-win season. A great season. An awesome season. Got to finish against your rival. Mississippi State been in and out of the rankings. Like, they're a really good football team. I expect some points in that ball game. A lot of throws in that ball game. Uh, Will Rogers has put up huge numbers. Uh, Joey. Cincinnati at East Carolina on Friday. ECU 
And kind of a sneaky team, a little tougher at home. Any problem for the Bearcats maybe peeking ahead to that American Championship game? I think that's going to be the key is to see if they can keep going and doing what they did against SMU. Can they have the same attitude from the start of that game to the finish and put East Carolina away early and again make a statement in this game before they go into a game against Houston in the AAC championship? And you have Notre Dame and Stanford. Stanford's really struggled. It should be an easy win for the Irish in Alabama in the Iron Bowl against Auburn. They just lost to South Carolina. They did, but Jordan Hare has been a bit of a haunted mansion for the Tide, too. Let's see how that goes. We're here for the heavy flowers and the wedgie pickers with a pad made like no other. Up to zero leaks because it locks blood in. Up to zero bunching because it flexes. No worries, just always flex foam. Only Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. A hot buttery treasure loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and sausage or bacon. And to top it off right now, they're just a buck. A buck? Now there's no reason to go somewhere else. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Welcome to that magic realm. Between here and there. A no man's land. And everyone's land. Where great expectations grow. And rewards are given to the swift, the perceptive, and the daring. The Mazda CX-30 Turbo with all-wheel drive. More power for your pursuit. Attention, Granny Stone is in stock and available for immediate shipping. Are you tired of pots that burn, lids that don't fit, and pans that stick? You know you need a new set, but the prices are so high it makes you sick. Well, get ready for a kitchen full of the most durable, ultra nonstick cookware at the most affordable price anywhere with Granite Stone Blue, the fast, easy way to cook gourmet family meals every day. Each piece of Granite Stone cookware is pressed from a solid aluminum disc, then fitted with a stainless steel induction plate for even heat conduction and coated three times with our durable, ultra nonstick Granite Stone Blue finish. Granite Stone Blue is oven rated up to 500 degrees for outstanding roasting and come with vented tempered glass lids to prevent boil over. Plus, all Granite Stone cookware is 100% dishwasher and metal utensil safe. Look, you'd expect to pay up to $500 for a professional quality cookware set. But during this special TV introduction, you can get the Granite Stone Blue 12-piece set. Not for $500, $400, or even $300, but for the factory direct price of just five easy payments of $49.95. And for everyone who orders today, we're going to drop one payment. You get it all for just four easy payments of $49.95. Granite Stone cookware is so durable, it comes with a 10-year warranty. As a bonus, we'll include our self-draining fry basket, stainless steel steamer insert, and the steamer rack, absolutely free. And there's even more. As a special gift, you'll get our five-piece Granite Stone Blue bakeware set. Together, they're a $110 value, yours free. That's an incredible 20-piece Granite Stone Blue set, all for just four easy payments of $49.95. And here's the best part. Granite Stone is in stock and available for immediate shipping from our U.S. warehouse. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. That's right, free shipping. Order now. To order, call 1-800-368-9710. That's 1-800-368-9710 or visit granitestoneblue.com. Ho, ho, ho. Breaking news from the North Pole. The Immaculate Mac is back to pack your TV set with gridiron games. Every Tuesday and Wednesday to be exact. Catch your favorite team, take a snap, or intercept a bad pass. High stepping inside the sideline, striving to put six on the board before the clock hits zero. Ooh, I know that hurt. But what's more appealing than watching your arch nemesis get sacked from the comfort of your couch? This is football fever at its finest. Seven days per week. Christmas just came early. What is smart? Book smarts? Street smarts? IQ? EQ? Smart is her. It's him. They're in pursuit of purpose. Smart is knowing failure is success in progress. It's finding your calling. It's choosing your place to become. So, what kind of smart are you? Are you Western Michigan on the road in the regular season finale. All over the Mac West champs, the Northern Illinois Huskies, 28-7. After 30 minutes of action, thanks in large part 
to Sky Moore. More on him in a moment, but the other big news in college football tonight. College football playoff committee has released a new set of rankings. No surprise at the top, of course, it's Georgia at number one. Ohio State leaps Alabama after they bludgeon Michigan State this past week. Cincinnati is in. That's the headline. The Bearcats representing group of five inside the top four. Notre Dame hanging around and you see the top 10 teams are going to be playing in Bedlam this weekend. Number seven, Oklahoma State and number 10, Oklahoma. That's your top 10 in the college football playoff rankings as of tonight. Mentioned Sky Moore. He's got three touchdowns tonight. He's got two Y's in his name, and the Northern Illinois defense is saying, why do we have to cover this guy? So far, they can't. All WMU first half. Downey's been taking you back since way back. With freshness and softness you never forget. Feel the difference with Downey. Let me pay back to the cook. I want to pay. <laughs> Did you do Mrs. Meyer's assignment yet? One dollar any size soft drinks are always one dollar. Only on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. Nova is a full gym in your hands that enables you to work out where you are right now and enjoy the same benefits as weights without the weight. The Nova Gym enables you to fit fitness into your busy life to get lean and fit anywhere, anytime. Nova Gym. Ow. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? What's better than playing video games? Making them. And now anyone can. With Pixicade, the video game maker that turns what you draw into a playable video game. Thousands of new games are being uploaded every week. Pixicade is easy to get started. Just draw a game, snap a picture in the Pixicade app, and in less than 30 seconds, you can play your very own video game. There are so many different game types to try. Pixicade even lets you share with others anywhere. I'm not just a gamer. I'm a creator. I can't believe I can make my own video game. I get to see my child's creative side come to life. Over a half a million games have already been created, developed by top teachers and game designers, and rated five stars by parents everywhere. Order the award-winning Pixicade Game Maker for just $19.99. It comes with the step-by-step -step books and codes to unlock game creation in the app, plus a bonus avatar sticker sheet. Go online at Pixicade.com to order. That's Pixicade.com. Celebrating the 25th annual Rocket Mortgage Mac Football Championship, Saturday, December 4th, will be an opportunity to see some of the brightest stars the MAC has to offer and commemorate the conclusion of the 75th Mid-American Conference football season. Make your way to FordField.com slash MAC to grab your tickets now. It's time to get some action. Here's the hard work. You're going to need a smaller cabinet because now you can take all those supplements you're taking or not taking and replace them with this. AG1 by Athletic Greens brings 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens together in one place. It might just be the most comprehensive and convenient nutritional regimen on the planet. Immunity supporting, recovery enhancing, digestion improving, energy lifting, made to the strictest quality standards. Made New Zealand, made for just about everybody.
that can run that fast. Yeah, Buck, his name is Sky Moore. Ella be saying, hey, give me more Sky. Three touchdowns in the first half, a new season high for Moore. By the way, four for Ella be through the air. That's also a season high. He's been amazing in the first half all season. That was his best one. You made me think of it right away. We want more. We want more. We want more. And he's given all that they can take. And Ellaby has to be happy with that, that guy there. You see the pass yardage for Northern Illinois. Negative four. They're missing their starting quarterback, Rocky Lombardi. They've gone to the true freshman, Ethan Hampton, and they have not been able to get anything going through the air, Buck. Yeah, and it's tough when you have a team that's like Western Michigan that can be explosive in the things they do in the first half. You try to have to try to keep up with them. And then some ill-advised playing and penalties and mistakes, turnovers, don't help you when you have an explosive offense like this. We were tied at seven. After that, Western Michigan went on a 21 to nothing run to end the first half. They outgained Northern Illinois 199 to 11 over that span. Caleb Ellaby back to work. They keep it on the ground with a three touchdown lead, and Sean Tyler is lassoed and wrangled down by Daver and Rayner. Yeah, Tyler, again, has just been a, a key component for this offense. Six yards of carry on the ground coming into tonight, and he's really shown you if they're going to run the football between he is Tyler and Jefferson, that two headed combination, the main two backs. Again, you scan this sideline, you scan the defense, who's coming down, and where we're going to go. LB keeps, LB completes. Guess who? Sky Moore stays on his feet, and he's across midfield. You try to disguise it, Drew, but even still, they come down with that rover or that safety in the box, and it opens up the pass game. And Ellaby is just, he's in, he's in rhythm. He's able to do this so effectively because his guys know where to be, and wherever they vacate, that's where you go. It's simple. Football is a simple game, but, man, it's tough. <laughs> hey, Buck, it's easy for you to say, man. It's not simple <laughs> to a guy like me. Back on the ground, it's Tyler for a short gain on first down. Western Michigan's offense has been firing on all cylinders tonight. It's a team that was really great in the short six-game season last year, carrying over the efficiency. Ellaby in a bit of a sophomore slump, Buck, and that's something Tim Lester talked with us about this week. He said he told Caleb, the sophomore slump is real, man. Teams are focusing on you now. Ellaby's numbers aren't quite as impressive. He's still leading the Mac in passing, though. Well, and he's able to do it because he's comfortable and he knows this defense. They can pick out this defense most of the time tonight. On the RPO, Ellaby throws incomplete, trying to find Crooms. That's the second time tonight he's had one go through his hands. And it seems like wherever they come with blitz pressure, they're still able to pick it up. There's no, it's, it's no concern. I mean, they're just really able to control the game. And with such a huge lead against a team that, like Northern, they, they, need some, they need a turnover, they need a big play in special teams, and they need their offense to get going as well. Western has dominated put, time of possession, which is what they've done all season. Sorry about that, Buck. And they're just yeah. putting everybody on the line just to make sure they have it. And if you miss, this is what happens. Tyler ushered out of bounds about a yard short of that first down marker. You take away your levels. And then the line, if they're able to get on you, it just creates space for the running back. Tyler able to just pick where he wants to go. Broncos went for it on fourth down once in that first half. They got it. They were pretty aggressive on fourth down earlier on in the season. Not quite so much lately. Their kicker is Nick Mahalik, who replaced Parker Sampson. Mahalik's career long is only 30 yards, so they're going to keep the offense out there. Two tight ends stacked on the right side. Tyler right up the gut. It's going to be close. Looks like he's short by he, about a yard. Yeah, I don't think he got it. He was trying. He saw an opening and then just couldn't get to it. Good job by the defense also. 
You know, it's one of those where you may want to stay behind your backs. I mean, your blockers and not cut quite there. And Tim Lester may be telling them that. But very good defense. Northern Illinois needed a huge play, and they got it on that one. It's a Northern that. Illinois front buck that's super young. They make a play here. Yeah, I mean, he ran into the teeth of the defense where he had an opportunity to keep running behind Big Borski and Death Ridge, Death Ridge, Death Rage, and just don't, doesn't quite get there. Ethan Hampton to throw on first down, short completion to Trayvon Rudolph. Yeah, they need something. And then this is the other thing, Drew, getting him comfortable and just making him feel at ease with the passing game. They're going to have to throw the football. You're not going to come back by just running it. And Buck, with that completion, Northern Illinois is up to zero passing yards tonight. They were at <laughs> negative four in the first half. And Trayvon Rudolph's the only Husky to catch a pass so far tonight. He's got two of them. This time they keep it on the ground with Jay Ducker, and he'll set up another third down. The worst thing you can have is a young man that has to come in in a game like this. And yeah, it, 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 it's a tough situation. But for Ethan Hampton, it's an opportunity for him. You, you want to keep guys healthy because you know what you have next is a MAC championship game. But you also want to compete when you have those opportunities as well. Coaching staff is really high on Hampton. Grew up about 30 minutes from the campus here in DeKalb. On third down, he throws on the run. Rudolph has it in his mitts, and he's out of bounds. Yeah, just not quite enough room. Rudolph came up with the catch, but not able to secure that. Second three and out for these guys. They just, just haven't been able to find an opportunity to keep the drives alive. That was one where they want back because you're in a manageable third down. Matt Ferentz back out to kick it away in his 57th game. He's got the top punt average in Northern Illinois history. One of the best punters this program has ever seen. Not only lets it bounce through the back of the end zone, and it's a touchback for this dangerous Western Michigan offense. In today's world, you need to keep your home clean more than ever before. Stop scrubbing harder and start cleaning smarter with Sani 360, the amazing all-purpose cleaner that cleans like you've never seen, removing the stuck-on tough stuff. Just point and press. Sani 360's extra-long applicator nozzle gets in the tight spots others can't, releasing a concentrated blend of powerful foaming action enzymes that expand and clean on contact. Instantly, millions of micro-cleaning enzymes surround, penetrate, lift, and separate dirt and grime at the surface, leaving nothing but a clean, lemon-fresh scent behind. Remove burnt-on spills on any stovetop surface without scratching. Wipe away backsplash splatters fast and make dried-up microwave messes a thing of the past. Just press foam and let the cleaning enzymes do the work on this dried up oven cleaning nightmare like magic the built up baked on grime wipes away in no time without the scrubbing with the extra long nozzle give the sink disposal a blast of sani 360 to clean below the surface removing months of food mess and odors leaving that sani fresh lemon scent behind Clean hard water spots around faucets and fixtures. Remove built up soap scum to make shower heads and hardware shine. Wipe out shower residue and stains on tile and get rid of that ugly stain around the tub and drain. Sandy 360 removes the stuck on tough stuff, sending it down the drain with just a rinse. So take that nasty toilet bowl cleaning job and flush it with Sandy 360. And right now you can get two 14 ounce bottles of Sandy 360 for just $19.99. But wait, order now and we'll send two more 14 ounce bottles for just ten dollars more and the shipping is absolutely free sani 360 from the fine family of sani 360 cleaning and deodorizing products clean smarter not harder with the fast action foaming enzymes in sani 360 and the shipping is free here's how to order to order your sani 360 and lemon fresh go online at sani 360 cleaner.com or call 1-800-572-9563 that's 1-800-572-9563 order now at Finger Hut, we don't define you by your credit score. We celebrate you being you. So we offer low monthly payments on the stuff you need, things you love, and brands you trust. As you build your credit history with a Finger Hut credit account, 
If you're looking for the latest electronics, kitchen essentials, clothes, toys, and more, you'll find it all at Fingerhut. You do you, and we'll help build your credit at Fingerhut.com. Fingerhut credit accounts are issued by WebBank, member of DIC. Here we go. Hey folks, kick off your Week 12 NFL Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern with the Countdown Crew on ESPN and the ESPN app. They've got all the early breaking stories, injury updates, and previews of each game right up to kickoff. Hey, the sun is setting on the NFL season. We're in crunch time now, Buck. This is when the games really start to matter after Thanksgiving. Three great Thanksgiving games on the slate, and then Sunday, make sure you watch NFL Countdown to get you primed for the slate. As Western Michigan is back on offense, and it's Marion Rabowski, the big true freshman quarterback, who has a solid gain on first down. Yeah, man, he, he is a load. And we've seen him get more and more comfortable in that run game. Haven't thrown any passes, but he is designed to be that guy that can run the football. As a junior at River Rouge High School in Michigan, he threw and ran for over a thousand yards each. It gives you another dimension. It also makes defenses and defensive coordinators have to plan for something. And this may be one opportunity where it's a third and one. Could he potentially throw it, but it's such a short distance. He's been able to run and they almost fall forward a lot of times for first downs. Rabowski's got five carries yet to throw a pass tonight. He keeps it. He finds a seam. And there he goes. Marion Rabowski inside NIU territory. Yeah, this Northern Illinois defense sells out. And they've done this a few times, and Ellaby is just as happy as anybody. Look at all those guys gathered up there. When they miss, you can see C.J. Brown using that catch-up speed. But it just it reduces you when you're able to get to the teeth of the defense and attack it. Fortunately for them, C.J. Brown is a, a, a guy that will hustle and make some plays. 25-yard gain for Rabowski. You mentioned C.J. Frownbuck, one of the best players on this defense. Northern Illinois is going to be without Lance DeVoe and Jordan Hansen, two other starters for the remainder of this game. Sky Moore on the catch on first down, sheds a tackle, and Sky Moore is feasting on Thanksgiving week. Yeah, they were trying to have a little bit over the top of him, but when the, the, the run play showed, it takes the safety away, and it's just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Scott Moore comes out, I man. He breaks it down when he gets in and out of those breaks. And Ellaby just hits him, and he's able to have that yak, that yard after catch. Well, he's 22 he's yards for Sky Moore. Go ahead, Buck. Yeah, Drew, he has shown the ability to just get open. And they, and, and no matter if they're trying to bracket him or do different things, they just can't stop him. A lot of one on one matchups. We were talking with the defensive coordinator, Derek Jackson, for Northern Illinois. I asked him, hey, what's the plan to slow down Sky Moore? He said, well, I hope he doesn't get off the bus in DeKalb. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Ladarius Jefferson on the ground. Yeah, what, what do we always say in business? Hope is not a strategy. <laughs> yeah, well, hoping right. more doesn't show up is definitely not one of them. But it's just a problem that he creates. And then you have to account for the other guys. We haven't really called Jalen Hall's name or Coombs as much. But it's just been one of the things that this defense has done by the design, and they've just been able to attack it. You saw Moore's numbers there last week at Eastern Michigan, 12 for 181 and a touchdown. He is red hot right now. Now they're showing you quarters, but somebody's going to come somewhere, and that's where they're trying to figure out who's going to be that guy that'll come down in the box. Snap it late on the play clock, and Ellaby goes down. Five-on-five five crime, Michael Kennedy with the sack. Nice play by Michael Kennedy. I told you he'll throw his body around, and he'll make plays and just show up like a flash. A cameo appearance always seems to happen when Michael Kennedy is there. He's going to steal the scene, and he's going to do it here. Watch five come off the edge, unabated, and not blocked by anybody. And he said, hey, that's the best, easiest sack I'll ever have, but I'm going to take it.
See quarters here again, Buck? Yeah, you see how they're backing up again because it just gives them some time. You see one, two, three, four defenders. Now, they, they could roll coverage, but they've, they've been beat so much. Now they're going to take that safety high again. On third down and long, the pass is complete to Jalen Hall. Makes his third catch of the night right around the 20, and it brings up fourth down. So from here, it would be about a 35, 36, 37-yard field goal for Nick Mahalik, which would be a career high, and it looks like Ellaby's staying out there. And Drew, you mentioned it best. They show something, but then they're always going to go to a single high, cover two, or they're going to do different things, and they've been able to tr try to confuse Ellaby a little bit. Now, in fourth and short, you got to just show what you're going to show because you don't want to give up any yardage. Broncos one for two on fourth down already tonight. They go for it again. Ellaby floats it. Moore's there. Oh, nearly had touchdown number four. You got to beat Javon Bird, Javon Bird, who we knew was going to play some of that ability. He's a young guy, but playing probably some of their best football. And this was a huge play. Scott Moore couldn't come up with it. Look at this. He's long and rangy guy. Stays with him and just at the last second. Very good job by Bird. Yeah. When you have Scott Moore, you better be there to make a play. Bird does it on that. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because the car was too expensive. We both work at Chick-fil-A. She would bike to work every day. And then winter hit, and that was pretty rough. So there was a holiday raffle, and they were giving away a car there. Her name got called, and I was like... <laughs> she decided to give the car to me. Chick-fil-A feels like one big family. Helping you or just like any of my coworkers always brings joy. It's crazy to say, like, I gave my best friend a car. Hi, I'm William Shatner. If you're on Medicare, this is important. It's officially the Medicare annual enrollment period, which means today is one of the only days of the year you can update your Medicare coverage and benefits. Today, you may be able to eliminate co-pays and get significant extra Part C benefits, including dental care with extractions, fillings, and even dentures, plus prescriptions, transportation, meals, and so much more, all at no extra cost. Additionally, you may be eligible for the benefit that adds money to your Social Security check every single month, up to $1,700 for all of next year. Don't miss the enrollment period deadline. Call now. I called and he looked up my zip code and said I could eliminate co-pays and get expanded dental care, prescriptions, transportation, and meals covered at no extra cost. I'm on a fixed income, so I don't want to miss out on the benefits that adds money to my Social Security check. It's simple. One, call the number on the bottom of the screen. Two. The agent will look up your zip code and explain what extra benefits you may be able to get, including expanded dental care, prescriptions, transportation, and meals. And three, check if your zip code has the benefit that adds up to $148 a month. That's up to $1,700 a year added to your Social Security check. I call to eliminate co-pays. I call to check my zip code. I called to get everything I deserve. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Don't miss the enrollment period deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-698-7901. That's 1-800-698-7901. Now. And we're going to have a dance contest. Oh, yeah. Listen, not a whole lot of reason for NIU to be dancing tonight. That that came from April, and it just tells you everything you need to know about this Northern Illinois team. As Ryan Selig says, hey, no fun on my watch as he brings down Ethan Hampton, the quarterback. But, but going back to that video, I mean, you see how much these guys love each other. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is how do you get a team to turn around so quickly? 
And, you know, talking to Co Coach Hammock this week, remember, he co he played under Joe Novak. In his first four years, Joe Novak was 8-36. and 36. In today's football, that would be hard to last on any level. Then he got that program going, and that's the thing. You, you, you can see what it has to do, and he's been around it. Thomas Hammock was around during some of those lean years and then got to respectability. I think the beautiful thing about it is what he's been able to do is take a group of young guys and give them an expectation, playing in the, coaching in the league and understanding what that looks like and coming back to the college level. You don't do that. that this is hard to do. It's the biggest turnaround in FBS, plus eight wins, seven of those wins by one score. And I asked Coach Hammock, hey, man, what's the secret sauce? And he says, you know, you build some confidence after your first win. They go on the road to Georgia Tech. They win by one point against a Power 5 team. And ever since, they've had that moxie to win those tight games. He said he didn't get too high or too low, and we'll tell a story about that after this play. Ethan Hampton on the pass, trying to find Trayvon Rudolph. It's incomplete. The defensive coordinator, Lou Esposito, saw a ball on the turf. So he's going to go recover it himself, former player. Nice play there from A.J. Thomas, third three and out in a row. What did he say about Justin Forsett when he was in the league? He was blasting him, right? And Justin said, hey, I have a wife and family. Made, it said it made him a better coach after that. He was coaching those positions. He said passionate but not belligerent. On the other side, you can see Esposito. Spent a lot of time talking to him. He can't find a 17 shoe, right? We talked about that. He can't. I wear 15s, and I was like, oh, man, you do have a pretty large uh, foot there. Coach Espo is a big dude, that's for sure. He's a former offensive lineman. We got to tell you guys an amazing story from his playing days and how he ended up meeting his new head coach, Tim Lester. I promise it's worth sticking around for him. This NBA on ESPN time. Tomorrow on ESPN. Welcome to Allstate, where we've just lowered our auto rates. And savings like that follow you everywhere. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. Welcome to that magic realm. Between here and there. A no man's land. An everyone's land. Where great expectations grow. And rewards are given to the swift, the perceptive, and the daring. The Mazda CX-30 Turbo. With all wheel drive. More power for your pursuit. Hey, I can tell you're a fan. Lucky for you, nothing keeps you connected like AT&T 5G. 5G, huh? Is that fast? Oh, yeah, it's fast. And is it reliable? Definitely is. What about secure? Oh, yeah, it's secure. Mm, love it. How many of those you got? I don't know. You're very good at whatever this is. You flatter me. It's not complicated. AT&T 5G is fast, reliable, and secure. Those old shirts smelled as funky as they looked. At Cricket, we re-engineered vintage style. Softer fabrics modern fits. Old school done better. Do you live? Did you know gnomes bring good luck? Did you know if kids don't behave they get cold and they're stalking? Did you know Mario and Luigi are twins? Did you know Santa Claus is also known as Kris Kringle? Did you know penguins actually don't live at the North Did you know we love how much you know? I know. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, 
cuckoo crusty. There's no promo. It's just great race. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tim Lester and Lou Esposito go way back, two decades. How'd they meet? Well, they played together for the Memphis Explorers in the AF2 in arena football. And when Tim Lester moved into his new place in Memphis, Lou Esposito answered the door. They were roommates. And, Buck, what did Tim Lester say? He thought Espo was going to kill him. Yeah, he said he, had, he was making some sauce. And he said, I saw red. And it just got me like... Whoa! <laughs> He's actually this big old guy with, you know, a shirt on and some red sauce. I was like, oh my goodness. And he said they've been the best of friends since then. Lester's offense back on the field. Jackson Kincaid on first down. You know, having called arena football games for a number of years, man, it was some great times in that league. But I think these guys have understood and grown together as coaches. And it's, you can understand why they have such a camaraderie because they both understand each other so well. They, they hit it off right away. And, you know, it's easy to forget. Espo played offensive line during his playing days. He was a center, and he sort of betrayed the offense to move over to defense as Sky Moore catches another pass. He is having a career game, 10 catches now. He's got a new season high in yardage as well. Yeah, he is just finding ways to catch the ball everywhere. I mean, they're, and they're feeding him. I think that's the other thing. You, and you you mentioned it perfectly. Being a former offensive guy made it easier for the transition on the other side, especially from a center position, where you have to know so many things about the defense. More, more as they convert on third down. Give Sky more 11 catches, and he approaches 200 yards. Yeah, it's just been tough for this Northern Illinois, Illinois defense to really figure out how to stop them. You know, they, they, they've tried a couple of different things, but each time they do, Ellerby has just really figured it out. They've looked to the sideline, and they've been able to make the adjustments, and they've been perfect. Derek Jackson, the defensive coordinator, said he wants his cornerbacks to treat Sky like their prom date, go with them everywhere, as Jackson Kincaid has a big hole on first down. Move the sticks again. Yeah, and I said, you know, instead of saying follow him everywhere, if he's with his girlfriend, you go make sure you know what perfume she has that night. Because you, if you don't stay with him like that, he's going to do what he's done so far. Sky Moore coming off a 12-catch, 181-yard touchdown performance at Eastern Michigan. Has 11 catches for 194 and three scores tonight. Moore's at the bottom of your screen. You Gonna think no chance they give him single here, right, Buck? It'll be tough if they do because he's just been able to exploit it. Keep it on the ground. Sean Tyler, burst of speed. Western Michigan's keeping it on the ground now. Well, what they've been able to do is it's been so much attention paid to the outside that now their offensive line can settle in and just come off the football. And whether it's Tyler or Jefferson or Kincaid, they're able to do that. They're not forcing themselves to even have to think about throwing the football. They're attacking this defense because there's so much attention paid to number 24 and the other receivers. Western Michigan has 20 first downs tonight. Northern Illinois has four. Pure domination. Ooh, trickeration. Corey Crooms has the rock. Oh, the turf monster got him inside the 10. <laughs> oh, Corey, man, look, you had a Jalen Hall had you set up perfectly. And what did the coaches say? You know, Jalen, look, Jalen had him picked up perfectly. He had a block. Ellaby even picked up yeah. a little bit of a, a touch. But right there, look, he's, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my man. You had it. <laughs> oh, they're going to talk about that one on the way home tonight. <laughs> you do love Jay to see a receiver excited about blocking, though, Buck. Well, and that's the thing. They said he wasn't, he didn't always want to be physical, but Jalen Hall was mixing it up right there. Ellaby gives. Tyler tries to spin, and he's wrestled down. Tackle 
Pierce Opong on the stop for Northern Illinois, going back to that near touchdown for Corey Crooms. Buck, that's like when you're playing hoops, you make a great pass, set up a guy with a layup, and he blows it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the guy that you know that doesn't have the greatest hands, and you're worried about getting it to him, but you try to still drop the dime. <laughs> Yeah, Corey had easy sailing on that one, and he had a chance to get his sixth touchdown on the year. Timeout on the field on what could be the last play of this third quarter. NIU's defense takes it. You know, for Western Michigan, Buck, they're not in contention for a Mac West championship, of course. Northern Illinois has already got it sealed up. But, uh, you know, assuming they hang on and win here tonight, it'll be a, a seven and five regular season. They'll go bowling. You know, Tim Lester said the future is now. This game is really important for our future. And they've looked amazing from the jump. They really have. I mean, right away, he said he expected them to play well. They had a great week of practice, and you can see it. And I, I'll say this, Northern Illinois doesn't want to go into the MAC championship game with a loss, but I think it's Western's ability, and, and this is a tough place to play. The cab is not easy, and, and Tim Lester talked about that quite a bit as well. We've got a nugget here on the MAC West from ESPN Stats and Info. You see Ball State, if they win tonight, and last time we checked, they were crushing Buffalo. If Ball State wins, all six teams in the MAC West would be 500 or better. Last time a division had all teams finish 500 or better, 2015 SEC West. Nice nugget. Thanks, Buck. Before LB can throw, whistle blows, flag on the field, top of your screen. Real nice play set up if they. Ball start. Flag. Offense, number 66. Five yard penalty. Third down. We set the clock to 14 seconds. Thank had you. A nice, had a nice rub route working on the outside. As the seventh year senior, Wesley French, yes, seventh year senior at left tackle. <laughs> well, with. COVID and everything else, there's so many different things. And Wesley French, seventh year. Every time I look at that in the notes, I just like, okay, wow. Every team's got one this year yep. after COVID. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Big tight end, Borski in motion. He's got one touchdown tonight. LB throws right to Sky Moore, looking for number four. Give it to him. When you move the tight end over, you know there's man coverage, and then LB has to get his eyes excited. See, he knows when Borski moves, it, it tells you what the defense is going to do. In a one on one matchup tonight, Sky Moore has won all of those. He is feeling it. This is one of the greatest individual receiving performances you will ever see. 12 catches, 206 yards, four touchdowns. Parker Sampson on for the extra point. That's good. It's the ninth 200-yard receiving game in school history, and there's still a full quarter left to play, Buck. Yeah, I mean, it. again, everybody moves out, and you're just playing one-on-one, -on -one, basic basketball principles if a quarterback can just hand it to you almost oh and the way he sets that up that's the other thing he knows he has no one inside zero basically man he, he, he attacks where the defender is going to try to take away which is inside so he starts outside and in a minute he comes across his face you know a six i'm gonna tell you sky moore has shown me a whole lot i watched it on film but to see him tonight wow it is also just the third four touchdown catch game in program history. Tell me if you've heard of the other guys who have done it. Greg Jennings, Jaden Reed. Jennings, of course, a star with the Packers. Reed now with Michigan State at Sky Moore to that list. Yeah, I mean, you know, they said he's a guy that's not a huge guy, 5'10, 195, but man, he creates problems for you with his ability to attack the football and the routes that he runs are so precise. It's another short kickoff for Nick Mahalik and Western Michigan and Northern Illinois is going to start in WMU territory. 
Yeah, Northern just needs something positive on this drive. Get some first downs. You know, this is the one where if you're in a game like this, you just start saying, okay, we can't let the guys look at the scoreboard. we got to make sure they understand it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We need a first down, another first down. Get some positive momentum to just get yourself back going in the right direction. True freshman Ethan Hampton back at the controls of this NIU offense. Again, Rocky Lombardi is out tonight. Keep it on the ground with Jay Ducker. And that'll do it for the third quarter. It's all Western Michigan tonight. More accurately, it's all Sky Moore. He's got four touchdowns in three quarters. Broncos firing on all cylinders. Rangers Bruins on ABC and ESPN Plus, Friday. Reggie Bush used to eat breakfast somewhere else, but then he tried Wendy's breakfast. Woo, baby, that's how you crack an egg right there. He doesn't even watch football anymore. Did y'all see this croissant? Who saw this croissant? Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Future. I am Cashios, God of Cash Back. What are you looking for? Kanaki. Gnocchi? Yes! I don't find. Oh! I shall never forget this! Get 5% cash back rewards. Visit GoCreditOne.com. The hot spots and pressure points on your mattress could be why you were tossing and turning last night, leaving you tired with aches and pains. But don't buy a new mattress. Upgrade it with the premium mattress topper by Dormeo. It transforms your mattress into a luxurious sleeping surface. It's the only topper in the world with patented OctaSpring technology, providing incredible pressure point relief and advanced breathability, so you don't wake up hot. Head to Dormeo.com now for a special TV offer that's only available at Dormeo.com. That's Dormeo.com. Attention, Granny Stone is in stock and available for immediate shipping. Are you tired of pots that burn, lids that don't fit, and pans that stick? You know you need a new set, but the prices are so high it makes you sick. Well, get ready for a kitchen full of the most durable ultra nonstick cookware at the most affordable price anywhere with Granite Stone Blue, the fast, easy way to cook gourmet family meals every day. Each piece of Granite Stone cookware is pressed from a solid aluminum disc, then fitted with a stainless steel induction plate for even heat conduction and coated three times with our durable ultra nonstick Granite Stone Blue finish. Granite Stone Blue is oven rated up to 500 degrees for outstanding roasting and come with vent tempered glass lids to prevent boil over. Plus, all Granite Stone cookware is 100% dishwasher and metal utensil safe. Look, you'd expect to pay up to $500 for a professional quality cookware set. But during this special TV introduction, you can get the Granite Stone Blue 12-piece set. Not for $500, $400, or even $300, but for the factory direct price of just five easy payments of $49.95. And for everyone who orders today, we're going to drop one payment. You get it all for just four easy payments payments of $49.95. Granite Stone cookware is so durable, it comes with a 10-year warranty. As a bonus, we'll include our self-draining fry basket, stainless steel steamer insert, and the steamer rack, absolutely free. And there's even more. As a special gift, you'll get our five-piece Granite Stone Blue bakeware set. Together, they're a $110 value, yours free. That's an incredible 20-piece Granite Stone Blue set, all for just four easy payments of $49.95. And here's the best part. Granite Stone is in stock and available for immediate shipping from our U.S. warehouse. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. That's right, free shipping. Order now. To order, call 1-800-368-9710. That's 1-800-368-9710 or visit granitestoneblue.com. Anyway, that's the control room. A lot of chaos there, but it all looks good when it comes out on the show, actually, thanks to those people. Then over here in the digital center is our highlight screening area. So that's where we get all the games uh, that are played that night down in a 90-second or two-minute clips or whatever you're going to see on sports right now. This hallway, it runs between, you know, both rooms. You know, if you want to get from the control room to the screening, then this is the hallway you'd take. Questions or anything? I can answer whatever you want about the place. You know, nothing? Sky Moore is the fourth player in FBS this season to have four touchdowns in one game. And we're heading in to the fourth quarter. Bucky's got a chance to add some more. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to keep playing, but if he does, I don't know if they can stop him. 
Northern Illinois back on offense, and Northern Illinois on the ground has a big pop. Ontario Brown to the house. Bright spot for the Huskies on the first play of the fourth. We talked about him earlier. Hadn't played for a little while, came back, first touch against Buffalo, explosion right there. They needed that out of Ontario Brown. Out of Savannah, Georgia, a huge run. I had some problems putting the ball on the on the turf a little bit earlier in the year, but just kept battling. Really nice job by him of getting to the to the house. They needed some life, and they were able to get that. That gives you some spark, man. You got to keep competing. John Richardson knocks the extra point through. Now 75 of 75 for his career. And Buck, we are seeing this competitive backfield personified tonight. Yeah, and they go to the right side of the line. They bring those people over, and they're just able to rush through and explode through. Looks like Ontario Brown is a little bit gimpy on that, but he's still able to run through and effectively get in for six. Head coach Thomas Hammock, who played running back at Northern Illinois himself in a pretty competitive backfield alongside Michael the Burner Turner, said this is the most competitive backfield he's been around, which is saying a lot considering he coached at Wisconsin when they had Melvin Gordon and James White and Monty Ball. He coached the Baltimore Ravens. This is the most competitive one, Buck. Yeah, and I, I think he also alluded to the fact that I don't have one guy that's just taking the bull by the horn. The, you know, and that's why it's been so competitive. But he said any time a guy will falter, somebody else steps up and makes plays. And I think that's the one thing as, as a running back by trade, a running back's coach, that's what you want. You know, it, it, it's, 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 I love to watch him coach because he reminds me of a guy that was in Indianapolis who I don't think got enough credit from coaching running backs, Gene Huey. Gene had some great guys, and he played ball himself. Oh, man, you put, look out. Oh, this Fumble on turn the kickoff, and the Huskies have it. Here we go. Eight <laughs> seconds into the fourth quarter. Northern Illinois has a touchdown and a quasi onside kick. There's some life in DeKalb. Everybody talk talks about Maxion. Well, this is it. You know, the game can turn that quickly. Thomas Hammock has been around. But right there, you got to secure it. You cannot come up and not make that catch. God. Those are the things that hurt you as a ball club, and those are the things that helps the other club. And we talked about that competitive backfield, Buck. That's 21 Aaron Collins who falls on the fumble. He hasn't played a whole lot on offense this year, but he is a running back, and he's making his presence felt on special teams. As I hear. Abdus Salam was the one that was coming up to fill that catch and couldn't quite get it. But fortunately, or unfortunately, but fortunately for NIU, it gets them in right back in scoring position. Ethan Hampton, the true freshman quarterback, back to work, throws a dart. That's complete. And all of a sudden, you're starting to see the young man get a little confidence. Tristan Tews. The move or the H-back guy for him. Eight catches on the year. And just getting back to what I was saying about Gene Huey, never got enough credit for how good of a coach he was, having Marshall Falk and so many others. That, you know, so many guys in that Indianapolis Colt system. Thomas Hammock has just been doing it, and you can see why he has really been able to turn this program around. They've gotten back to their roots here at NIU. The top run game in the MAC as Hampton throws, floats, end zone, incomplete, trying to find Trayvon Rudolph, his top wide receiver. And Drew, with, with a little bit of break in the action, all the coaching changes, I know Hammock has said, hey, this is his dream job, but if somebody comes after you, you got to look at it. And this, the Mid-American Conference has been that conference where guys have come out of this league and been very, very productive at the next level and even in the pros. Going back to Urban Meyer, I mean, you can go back in time. I can remember when Urban was at Bowling Green, and now, you know, look at his career. And there's so many other examples of guys that have been able to be successful coming out of the Mid-American Conference. Flag on the play before the snap for Northern Illinois. It was that jumbo set, 11 guys in the box on offense and defense. <laughs> that was old school football. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Look at Thomas Hammock, man. He's so animated. 
he should be happy, right? That's offsides. It's going to give his team their first third down conversion tonight. First down. <laughs> Yeah, he's excited, and his, his, it looks like his crew is getting back into it. Ethan Hampton is, you know, he said they could. He, they said he could spin it. We did, we haven't really seen it much tonight, but now they're put in a position where this old line can give you six or seven guys, and they just blast you. Ontario Brown just had that big run. This one is going nowhere. Marshawn Nealon blows it up for a big loss. When you need a play, it seems like he comes up along with Coleman. Look at 94, chasing. That's a hustle play from the backside. You know it's going away from you. You know it's no threat to come back to you. You go get that play and make it. Darren Coleman also in there, number seven, the field corner. Five-yard loss on first down. Ethan Hampton starting in place of Rocky Lombardi has only thrown for nine yards tonight. And this time he's going down. Ali Fayad, the top sack guy in the MAC, has another one. Explosive with violent hands. I said, hey, does he want to be a coach because he has high football IQ? No, he really wants to get into real estate. Well, he made up real estate right there on that spin move. Outstanding play by Fayad. Buck Myers aren't real good. Is that Dwight Freedy? Playing DM for Western Michigan? Hey, he sure, he sure showed some, didn't he? With that spin move, man, that was outstanding. Ali Fayad is just a machine. It's playing in his 53rd career game tonight. He's now got 11 and a half sacks on the season. Third and 25, Huskies keep it on the ground with Jay Ducker. And he is chopped down by Zaire Barnes, one of the leading tacklers on this Broncos D. Yeah, now you just try to come away with some points. Keep going, being positive right here. Doing everything you can to get back in this game and chip away and chip away. Here's John Richardson. Redshirt sophomore on the roster in his fourth year with NIU. This from 35. And he pulled it. So the score remains 35-14. John Richardson can't convert from 35. The wind out of the sails for the Huskies. Downey's been taking you back since way back. With freshness and softness you never forget. Feel the difference with Downey. Sierra with hands-free driving offers the most advanced and luxurious pickup in its class. Yeah, it rocks. Um what? I missed you so much. Hi C is back at Mickey D's. All any size soft drinks are always a dollar on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. Here's to hard workers, the holding down two jobbers, the making the paycheck stretchers. Here's to the bad to fair credit scores, and those bills were just a little bit later. At Good to Go, we see you. We know you have the drive, you just can't afford to drive. Good to Go is here to give you auto insurance when others won't. For as little as 20 bucks down and low monthly payments, Good to Go makes it easy to get approved, insured, and back on the road fast. Get the coverage you need, instant proof of insurance, and be on your way. We know you're going places. Let us help you get there. When others say no, we say you're good to go. Visit goodtogo.com. Here we go. Halfway through to get up in the biggest season ever. Take two. Do you listen? Why pay over a hundred bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want with all the entertainment you love for the price that cable can't beat. Try free. Hinge is the dating app that's designed to be deleted. So meet someone on Hinge, and we'll gladly meet our end. 
Which is exactly the way we want it. To recharge my brain, I fall asleep to the sound of falling rain. You need to let your Z's increase to put your mind at peace. Because greatness lies on the other side of sleep. Where is Charles Arbuckle going after this game ends? Right to his couch to watch this one. And you should do the same thing. One versus two. Feast week rolls on tonight with the game of the night in college basketball. Make it the game of the season. Number one, Gonzaga. Number two, UCLA. in the good Sam Empire Classic in Vegas. 10 o'clock Eastern in about 15 minutes. That one tips off. Seven Pacific on ESPN. One app. One tap in the app. And if that wasn't enough, one versus two. Dick Vitale is back to call that game in Vegas. Caleb Bellaby throws on the first play of a new drive and hooks up with Jalen Hall for a big gain on the slant. He's still going, but I do believe he was ruled down. Uh, Jalen, talk about a guy. celebration. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a guy that can move. Jalen Hall is one of them. Uh, he, he... Official timeout for an injured defensive player. Jay Sean Prophet is on the ground, the backup safety for Northern Illinois. And Buck, it gives us a chance, you know, we got to talk about Dickie V. He's back tonight, of course, dealing with cancer right now. He's in the middle of chemotherapy treatments. He had one that went well a few days ago. He's been cleared to call games again, and that is a blessing, not just for college hoops fans, but for sports fans everywhere. Yeah, you got to love it. College basketball, you, you know what the PTP means. You know, he's put, <laughs> put that on the map. It's just so much. Speaking of PT peers, Jalen Hall would be one if he stayed up on this 38-yard catch. That's what it is right now. What do you think? You think that right kneecap was down? <laughs> I don't know. It, just, it looked like he almost laid on the defender, and that's why he popped up. Wow. All of a sudden, I'm getting flashbacks to Auburn, <laughs> Oregon, and the national championship. Michael Dyer. Yes. That's exactly right. Clock's rolling. They did rule him down after a 38-yard catch for Jalen Hall. And Caleb Ellaby has been dialed in tonight. Western Michigan's quarterback, 20 of 25, 324 yards, five touchdowns. Here he hands it off. Big hole, Sean Tyler, first down Broncos. Yeah, they've, they've been able to do it both ways, Drew. Whether it's through the pass, uh, and, and the run game has been effective. But it's all kind of complimentary football. They have just been able to find ways to attack this defense. And when you're 20 or 25 with five TDs, usually means you're, you're in a good position. 16 yards on that last run. For Tyler Western Michigan now above 200 yards on the ground and above 300 through the air Corey Crooms in motion makes a move another first down for WMU yeah they're, they, they are finding their rhythm and it, it, getting very comfortable and doing it in a multitude of ways and it's making you defend sideline to sideline and vertically and that's where they start to just find holes in your defense by the way that does go down as a pass for Ellaby 14 yards for Kroom so he's now 21 of 26 for 338 yards and five tutties not quite CJ Stroud or Bryce Young esque last week but pretty gosh darn good for Caleb Ellaby on the ground Tyler spins and scores well, this defense has been out there so long, you could just kind of start to see that guys were not able to keep up. And once Tyler hit that second level, he was gone. John Tyler, their most explosive running back, according to the coaching staff. And on that 12-yard touchdown run, you could see the explosion knifing through that NIU defense. Parker Sampson back out there for the extra point.
and he is now six for six tonight. You got a guy that can run the football. Caleb Ellaby hands it off, but the rest is Sean Tyler for six. and tear your old statements and bills and simply toss those old bottles of pills. But thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone. Look, thieves use your trash to get credit cards in your name. Then you're responsible for the bills. But ID Police permanently prints a unique encryption graphic that makes it impossible to read through, both on the front and through the back, even if the paper is held up to the light. And it works on all forms of paper, matte or glossy. Paper shredders are slow and always jam. But roll with ID Police and you're in control. Watch again. Here's a bank statement with your name and account number. Now, one easy roll and all your personal information is blocked. Name and address? Blocked. Credit card number? Blocked. Phone, electricity, and gas bill? Now they're all safe to toss in the trash. So relax. Even your medical information is safe with the ID police. And did you know those receipts have information too? So carry ID police with you and have peace of mind. Perfect for professionals always on the go. So block it out before you throw it out and thwart any thief with the ID police. Order now and get your ID police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. That's right, free shipping. This offer is not available on Amazon. So call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Don't wait, call now. To order your special offer, ID Police call 1-800-566-6075. That's 1-800-566-6075. Call or visit at idpolice.com. So call 1-800-566-6075 now. Well, for Western Michigan, it has been fun to stay at Husky Stadium on this Tuesday night, the regular season finale. They've got it clicking on offense and defense. Charles Arbuckle. Yeah, defense attacking right away, and you can see why they were making plays. Raiden Fisk first, and then just a bunch of guys, Holly getting there, making plays, and just attacking this run game, which is vaunted. But if you get penetration and you get it in the backfield, Marshawn Lee kneeling there. Don't allow that running back to get going. It's paid dividends for this defense. See Braden Fisk, a defensive tackle, really a nose guard working on his quickness. And, Buck, that's something the coaching staff love to talk about is how fast their D linemen are. Yeah, guys can run at such a high level, but also consistently staying at that level is what they really want to see. Now, of course, for Western Michigan's defense, you can't really have the conversation about how great they've been tonight without talking about the fact that Northern Illinois is missing their starting quarterback, yeah. Rocky Lombardi. But nonetheless, Buck, a really solid performance. It is. When you have a team that has 37 explosive runs coming into today's game like Northern Illinois, you have to be proud of your defense because that's where they want to hang their hat. They felt like they could put in anybody and, and run the football and Western stopped them early and allowed their offense to be explosive and put them behind the eight ball. Ethan Hampton to throw on the run, on the money. Nice throw from the true freshman out of Elburn, Illinois, for a first down. Yeah, the last two drives, he's made a couple of nice throws, and you can see what they see in him. Miles Joyner right there coming up with the, with the catch, 11th on the year. He kept talking about how he's improved over practice and how he could spin the football. We're starting to see it a little bit. They really like Joyner, too, a tight end who's great in the run game. They think they can scheme up more opportunities for him in the pass game. 
as Jay Ducker ducks under a tackle, but he's brought down for a two-yard gain on first. Man, I thought for sure he was going to be stopped even for more of a loss. <laughs> Ducker just kept driving. Bellevue, Nebraska. Averaging about 5.2 yards per carry coming into today's ball game. 2019 Gatorade Player of the Year in Nebraska. Scored 110 touchdowns at Bellevue West. That's a state record. He's got some space here and a first down for the Huskies. Thrown down suplex style by Theron <laughs> Coleman, but not until he picks up the first. 16-yard game. And he just glides through there and then all of a sudden pop to that second, third level. See how he's well built, lower half. Power and speed, and Thomas Hammock says, look, we're gonna compete every play. Whether it's in a game or in practice, they call their, their scout team the compete team. <laughs> Thomas Hammock says, if you don't come ready to practice, you will get embarrassed if you're a starter. Back on the ground, it's Ontario Brown, who's got one long touchdown tonight. Make it two, touchdown Huskies. I'm telling you, I like how these guys compete. They're way behind, but <laughs> that that gets you back in the game. And, and Coach Espo can't be happy because of the gap protection that they were having. Sound gap fits. That the last two times he's touched the ball for those long plays haven't been that way. It's a 41-yard touchdown for Ontario Brown, and that overwhelmed the Western Michigan defense. Extra point good from John Richardson. Two 40-plus yard touchdown runs tonight for Ontario Brown, who sort of looks like a young Thomas Hammock out there. <laughs> He's running the football effectively. Guys not getting in their gap and out of position. But what it allows you to do to have a big, huge run and finish through the finish line. Welcome to Allstate where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that make you feel like you won the whole dang thing. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. On a joyous Fansville by Dr. Pepper. By the power vested in me by the city of Fansville, I now pronounce you fan and wife. <laughs> Natalie drops back into the pocket. It's a three-step drop. Trish is wide open. Here comes the throw. Oh, Becky with the pick. Holy mackerel. We take a look at it. See that full extension uh -huh. by Becky? Let's go back to the action. Oh! At this point, it's anyone's bouquet. Up next, the garter toss. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Only Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. A hot, buttery treasure loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and sausage or bacon. And to top it off right now, they're just a buck. A buck? Now there's no reason to go somewhere else. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Welcome to that magic realm. Between here and there. A no man's land. And everyone's land. Where great expectations grow and rewards are given to the swift, the perceptive, and the daring. The Mazda CX-30 Turbo with all-wheel drive. More power for your pursuit. Nova is a full gym in your hands that enables you to work out where you are right now and enjoy the same benefits as weights without the weight. Powered by our patented SpireFlex technology, the Nova Gym enables you to fit fitness into your busy life, to get lean and fit anywhere, anytime, home, in the office, or while traveling. Build and sculpt your chest, back, arms, core, and legs, and transform your body with Nova. NovaGym.com. The priorities were basically playing football and trying to be the best I could be. Super Bowl 38. When you start something, you got to finish it. In all these games, it took that much to win. That's the difference between being remembered and not being remembered. Welcome to a new time. Anyone's time. 
This season, along with their contributions to university's general scholarship funds, for every field goal and extra point made, Allstate will also be donating to the American Red Cross to help with disaster relief efforts. Thank you, Allstate. We are in good hands. Western Michigan fans in good hands tonight with the Broncos' performance on the road in DeKalb against the Mac West champs. Flag on the field after the short kick return for WMU. We'll check with Jeremy Valentine. Va Valentine leading this Mac crew, and he did something really cool pregame. During the return, actually... illegal block in the back, number 32 of the return team, 10-yard penalty, first and 10. Jeremy Valentine actually spoke with us. We'll talk more about that in a second. But folks, don't forget, it is rivalry weekend in college football. And we cap our Saturday triple header on ABC with the 116th annual Bedlam game between OU and OK State. The Sooners have won the last six against the Cowboys. 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Saturday Night Football is presented by Capital One. Sooners need to win and get in for the Big 12 championship. Meanwhile, the Pokes are already in. It could be back-to-back -back bedlam. <laughs> WMU back on offense. Ladarius Jefferson gets the carry on first down, but we got to show some love to our man Jeremy Valentine, the referee tonight, who just to make sure we, we were all on the same page, spoke with us pregame, Buck. Yeah, he did, and, and kind of set things up really nice in one of the plays. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always curious about is an eligible receiver downfield or an eligible lineman downfield, and we talked quite a bit about that, and sure enough, it shows up. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but it's, right. it, they always, you know, whenever you can talk to them and just kind of find out some of the things that are rule uh, nuances that really help you and, and it keeps you sharp. It's, it's always good to be able to spend some time and, you know, talk to the officials and really get an understanding, a deeper meaning. Now, I don't want to keep seeing flags. Right. <laughs> Offense number 61, five-yard penalty, second down. That's the six-year center, Mike Caliendo, the leader on this offensive line. Yeah, it is not their fault. Caliendo is a really good center for him. Talk about a guy that just understands how to play and, and knows the game inside and out and able to help. He and Caleb Ellaby have a real good synergy because of that. Caliendo is one of 13 finalists for the Campbell Award, a.k.a. the Academic Heisman, goes to the top scholar-athlete in the country. And just because he's a finalist doesn't mean he hasn't won something already. He gets an $18,000 post-grad scholarship as part of that being a finalist. Back to Jefferson on the ground, brings up third down. Yeah, nice tackle by Cade Haberman. We thought we'd see quite a bit, but the Caliendo just gets this offense set. Make sure everything is aligned, identify who is the mic, and knowing where the back CI is pointing. That's that's who they're designating. And that's usually just to kind of identify for the whole offensive line and know where they need to go, where they need to set, and make sure the quarterback understands it as well. Who is your center with the Colts, Buck? Yeah, well, we had, uh, golly, you, you, you almost made me forget. <laughs> Ray Donaldson was my first center there, and Ray was just such a, I mean, he was outstanding. Played a long time and just really understood the game, you know, inside and out. And I learned so much from him just watching him play and, and just understanding how things had to be set and where you needed to go with things. Played that was with an 11 Corners. yard gain for Ladarius Jefferson. Go ahead, Buck. Sorry about that. Yeah, and you were just making me think who I played with in college. The late, great Frank, Frank Cornish. Frank was outstanding. Uh, ended up playing with the Cowboys with Troy Eggman, along with we, we played together in college, but we used to call him the Humbler. And he, he was a big guy that, <laughs> you know, he had, he would bring out his black glove to practice and say he was going to humble some people that day. Frank was from Chicago, man, and he was a great dude. Look at Ladarius Jefferson frolicking over Huskies near midfield on another big gain on first down. 
Hey, we were talking about Mike Caliendo, Buck. Let's show him some love. Get some syrup for this pancake. Yeah, look at this. Ah, ooh, look at stuff flying off helmets and things. That's that's where Frank Cornish would have got up and said, I told you, the humbler is him, baby. That was a huge <laughs> block by Caliendo. He and his guys are going to love that one. They got syrup bottles in the, in the offensive locker room, usually, <laughs> for those guys that get those pancakes. 20-yard gain. Here comes the young true freshman quarterback it is marion rabowski number 16 who gets another carry and there's an injured husky right around midfield yeah and the offensive linemen love guys like that because they say look we go you're gonna give us some pancakes let's, let's hope every, you know everyone is okay looks like jay sean profit yeah. a safety for niu is down on the field We'll update him when we come back. Want your clothes to smell freshly washed all day without heavy perfumes? Now they can with Downy Light in-wash freshness boosters. Just pour a cap full of beads into your washing machine before each load to give your laundry a light scent that lasts longer than detergent alone with no heavy perfumes or dyes. Finally, a light scent that lasts all day. New Downy Light, available in four naturally inspired scents. America, after the past year-ish, everyone deserves something new. So AT&T is giving everyone our best deals on every iPhone, including the iPhone 13 Pro with its amazing camera. Like everyone that worked from home or welcomed a new family member. There are a lot of dogs. Our deals are for everyone. It's not complicated. AT&T is giving new and existing customers our best deals on every iPhone, including up to $1,000 off the Epic iPhone 13 Pro. Loud noises and stressful days at home can make any dog feel anxious, scared, and all alone. When your pet is upset, it's time to cuddle up with Huggy Pup, the world's first plush pet toy with a heart. Listen. What makes Huggy Pup so lovable is that it mimics heartbeat sounds to gently calm them down, just like when they cuddle up with you or their mother. Huggy Pup is designed by the pet lovers at Pets Know Best to help animals cope with everyday stressors. Loneliness, fear, and separation anxiety can stress a pet out, but Huggy Pup helps relieve nerves and doubt with physical touch and warmth. Look, Huggy Pup comes with a reusable warming pack it's non-toxic, odorless, and makes cuddling feel oh so real. When you've got stuff to do, Huggy Pup does the snuggling for you. One thing that is so cool about the Huggy Pup is that it actually has a heartbeat, so it keeps my dog calm and comfortable when I'm not home. Even the most anxious pups are soothed by the warm touch and reassuring heartbeat of Huggy Pup. Plus, it's machine washable. And since it's from Pets Know Best, you know it's furry friend tested, owner approved. Give your pet the gift of comfort and companionship with Huggy Pup, the cuddling, snuggling dog toy with a heartbeat for just $29.99. Huggy Pup is available in three lovable styles and it comes with a bonus reusable warming pack plus the Pets Know Best one-year warranty. Order right now and you can get a second Huggy Pup, just pay a separate fee. We'll even ship your second Huggy Pup free. Plus, to give your dog even more love, we'll send you the best-selling True Touch Massaging Pet Glove. It gently removes unwanted hair to show your pet you care. Yours free. Call or go online now to HuggyPup.com. You don't have to guess, because pets know best. Jay Sean Prophet has nine tackles for Northern Illinois tonight. Came up a little bit gimpy after making his latest tackle on that last run. Over to the exercise bike he goes on the NIU sidelines. Huskies down against the Broncos of Western Michigan in the regular season finale. NIU has already punched a ticket to Detroit next Saturday for the MAC championship game. Eighth time in the last 12 years. Northern Illinois is going to Detroit to play in that one. Yeah, they got to be excited about it. Western, on the other hand, is looking for, you know, the best possible bowl seating they could get. I can remember, Drew, when 
it used to be you could win 10 games and teams from the MAC wouldn't get bowls. There are more bowls now, and guys are getting to play in those opportunities and, and, and compete at a, at a high level in some of those bowl games. Give to Jackson Kincaid for Western Michigan. Forward progress stop right at the first down marker, and he's carried all the way back to the line, the original line of scrimmage. And we talked about it earlier, too, the matching uh, phenomenon with them coming at the middle of the week. It's just re really given their, their, their teams more exposure. It's also caused some short weeks, which has hurt them in some cases, but it's allowed them to be on TV more. Now you might see some of these Maction games. The stands aren't quite as full as they would be probably on a Saturday when it's easier for folks to get to the stadium. But it is a trade that the Mac is willing to make to get some eyeballs on their product, which is a lot of fun. And here's another big time run for the true freshman running back, Marion Rabowski. Yeah, but look at big number 10 chasing him down, Demon Taylor. Talked about those two guys being key, 10 and 1, James Esther. They've, they've struggled against this team tonight, but usually they're guys that play a pivotal role in helping this defense be effective. You just saw the Western Michigan offensive line. In that front five, the starters along that offensive line, 27 years of combined experience. Seventh year, third year, sixth year, fifth year, sixth year seniors. Wow. Guys it's got to be around. a record, Buck. <laughs> yeah. They played a lot of ball together. Back to Kincaid on the ground. And, and, and it gives you confidence as a quarterback and a running back. But again, you've got a lot of young guys. If I look at my board, all of these guys are coming back for the most part. And then they have some that have multiple years they'll be back. A 75 freshman listed as freshman, not necessarily true freshman, might be a red shirt or a COVID freshman, but 75 guys who graduated high school in either 2020 or 2021. The future is bright for Thomas Hammock and company, and they told us, Buck, that they're going back to ground zero in the offseason. Nothing is guaranteed for anyone on this depth chart. Well, I, I think if you do it that way, it allows you to have a team that always knows we have to compete. You know, we, we must compete. We must do that every single year. And it allows their guys to understand, hey, nothing's going to be given to you. Talked a lot about those two being key physical presence. One out of East St. Louis, Illinois, and the other out of Detroit, Michigan. Cass Tech High School, James Esther comes from. Really dominant program back in the day out of Detroit. I swear half the Mac played their high school ball at Cass Tech. <laughs> it seems like it. Rabowski on the keeper. If you, if you know anything about Mo, Mo, the Motor City, they seem to just have a bunch of guys that come out of that high school. By the way here, you see that Ball State has defeated Buffalo, so Mac West supremacy continues. All six teams in the MAC West win at least six games this year. Last time a division had only 500 or better teams, 2015 SEC West. Impressive parity in the MAC West. Victory formation for Western Michigan. What a win in the regular season finale. The Broncos are going bowling. Drew, people argue with me about what's the best play in football, but I would say the happiest play would be <laughs> the victory kneel. Yeah, and folks, hey, don't forget, big Thanksgiving week lineup we have for you. Staff on the White Hot Warriors, best record in the league, take on the Sixers. Thanksgiving night, it's the Egg Bowl, Ole Miss, Mississippi State. Original six, Black Friday matchup between the Rangers and Bruins. It's Bedlam, OU, Oklahoma State. It's Thanksgiving week. It is feast week on the ESPN family of networks. And it starts for us with some action with a Thanksgiving style feast for Western Michigan. They double up Northern Illinois and the Broncos are bowling in 2021. Yeah, Drew, when you look at this, it's a great opportunity for both of these teams to finish off the season strong. 
So that'll do it for us from DeKalb. Want to give some shout outs to our camera folks, Alonzo Martinez, Jamie Bath, Al Hilliard, Nick Sutton, Sean O'Connor, Braving the Elements, Technical Director Todd Andrews, our director, Tim Sutton, our producer, Todd Jones, my partner, Charles Arbuckle. I'm Drew Carter signing off here on ESPNU. Western Michigan ends the regular season with a bang. Northern Illinois still going to Detroit for the MAC championship next week.